Hey everybody and welcome back to iHeart Board Games here live on Twitch. We're here this afternoon to play Alchemists, which is published by Czech Games Edition and the designer is Matus Kotri. I'm sure I said that right. Uh, we have not played this in a long time, so bear with us. Um, I am Ronald and with me I have... Joe. Yes, and our other hosts... Melissa. And Jesse. And if you're not familiar with Alchemists, this is kind of a heavier game, a deduction game. Hey, everybody! Hey, Vin Diesel, Peter, the expert at this game, apparently. Blood Boiler. <laughs> and Blood Boiler. I love how Peter's like, it's too easy, and all of us are sitting here like, this game is so hard, we're never gonna win, we don't know how to do this. And Peter's like, that's so easy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna be here dying, so you can help us. <laughs> well he says the first three times you play, it must be interesting enough. So I'm still in my first three times. So. Yeah, and we haven't played this in years. Oh, I don't think I was even tracking games the last time we played this. So wow, yeah, it's, been, it's been a long time. But I did read the whole rule book this morning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all Should twenty we, pages of it. Have you played this one at all? No. Oops. I didn't even know this existed until you were like last week. Like, oh. Alchemist next week. I was like, okay. okay. So this game is a special request from our very own Melissa Sings. Yay, because we haven't done it forever. If you'd like to request for us to play a game, you can always do so in our Discord. We have a Discord chat, and there is a game request area on there where you can go and say what you'd like to see us play. If we don't have it, we'll try to find it. If we can't find it, we're sorry. <laughs> There is a link to Discord. Come join in us. We chat and have fun there. Mm -hmm. um, so, Alchemist. What is Alchemist and how do you play it? Um, Heather! Hey, Heather. TI4. TI4 yeah. will not fit on this table. Let's just start with that. <laughs> but there was an amazing TI4 last night and... There was an amazing TI4 last night. Oh, it was very fun. Fireworks! <laughs> Are you trying to imply, Melissa? <laughs> <laughs> but you did an excellent job. Yes, I did. Hey, I got all ten points. Yay! Slivers. Hello, Slivers. Are you ready for some deduction? <laughs> you love cryptid. You should love this game too. Yeah. Oh no, not more cryptid. Ah! Oh, Hold Melissa, a wait a minute. Hold, a Hold on a second. You don't like cryptid because of the deduction, <laughs> but yet you want to play this game, which is a deduction game. Uh, <laughs> challenge accepted. <laughs> Yeah, the TI4 game last night only lasted us like four hours, but we were playing with just three people. And yeah, I two people did not attack out. any person. I never attacked anyone. I just stayed to myself. And when people attacked me, I always just retreated. And I won. So peaceful civilizations, even if they're bugs, can win. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away I was the away, evil bugs that love to fight. Oops. Like, my special ability was all about fighting. I never used it once. Did you pick it randomly, or did you actually? No, I picked it. Oh, okay. Because I was like, if someone does attack me. Oh, yeah, it's like. I won and I had a huge army. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, no. <laughs> no, one's no, no, no. Wait, <laughs> what? Ronald was a pacifist? I'm shocked. No, wait, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Best defense is a good offense. Yep. yep. Correct. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it shouldn't, shouldn't surprise anyone that Travis attacked me multiple times in that game. Oh. Uh, your Discord invite is wrong. Uh oh. Rats. Keeps expiring. Expired. Uh, I'll get to the bottom of that. We will fix it. While he's doing that, I will explain briefly, well, maybe more than briefly, how do you play this game since poor Joe over here has never played before, and some of you have maybe never even heard of this game before or played it before. So, this is a deduction game and also a worker placement action selection game. It is played over the course of six rounds. Six rounds? Mm hmm. The app says five. Oh, wait, final round. I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's separate. I was like, it so you might Six be rounds. curious why she said okay. the app. Because to play this game, you don't need an app. But if you don't have an app, someone has to just sit at the table and not play and act as the app. So we all have the app. We are not opposed to apps in board games. We think they're just fine. Um, and what this app is going to do is it's going to help you mix ingredients together to make potions. This game is actually very thematic for a Euro game. So, how the game is going to work is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select what order we want to take our actions in. And the way we do that is by placing these um, vials over here onto this track. Jesse was randomly selected to be the first player, so he's going to get to choose first. 
Now he might want to act earlier in the round. Um, Jesse, could you change to the other camera? Sure. He may want to act earlier in the round, which means he's going to go at the top of this list. But if he does, it means he's going to get fewer bonuses because, mm -hmm. as you can see, each of these spots have different bonuses of different cards they receive. As a matter of fact, if you go on the very first spot up here, you had to get up so early in the morning and run out, you weren't able to eat your own breakfast, so you have to pay a dollar to get a muffin at the stand on the way to work. <laughs> so that's why this one, you have to pay a dollar if you choose that. So then Joe's going to choose where he wants to go. Maybe Jesse didn't choose this, and maybe he chose that one. Joe can choose wherever he wants. Then I'm going to choose something, and then Melissa. That is the only purpose of that first player marker. This is going to be the turn order going forward for the first round. So let's just pretend this ended up being the turn order. It's not. It's just an example. But what's going to happen is whoever is going last is going to get to replace their cubes first. So Joe, we get to place all three of his cubes, because in a four-player game, we start with three cubes. And in the second round, we'll get a fourth cube. But the first round, we only have three. He's going to put his cubes. Could you uh, hand me some of those cubes there, Joe? He's going to choose between these different kinds of actions going around the board. And they're going to activate in this order, going around here, around the corner, and up this way. The first round, you're not allowed to choose this action, this action, or this action. But let's say he wanted to go here to this action. He would put his cube down here in the fourth spot because he is fourth player. Then maybe he wants to go to this action, and then maybe he wants to go over here to this action. That's what he's gonna do. Then whoever is next up, Melissa, is gonna get to put her cubes. And if she went to the same place that Joe went, she would put hers just above his, just like that. And if she went to a place where he's not at, she would still put hers in the third row because she's the third player. What does this mean? This means by the time we get to me, I'm gonna be first, I'm placing my cubes last, I'm gonna know where everybody else is going and I'm gonna know how much competition is in every spot before I put my cubes down. So it can be very beneficial to go earlier in the turn. But don't forget, if you go later in the turn, you can get cards. So, Sometimes you'll see a space that has two columns. In this situation, it means you can take that action twice. But the way this is gonna work is everybody in this first column is gonna take their action first. So yellow would go, then blue, then green. Then we would start on the second column and then blue would get the next, another turn to do this action. If she decides once we get to her, you know what, the card I wanted already got picked. I don't wanna do that action anymore. She doesn't have to. She can send her cube over here to this little unhappy cube area. You probably can't see it very well, but it's a sad face cube. Mm. If at the end of the round she has two cubes in there, she can cash them in for a favor card. Uh -huh. Wait, why did they go in there? If she decides not to do the action oh, after okay. all. <clears throat> okay. Or maybe she can't do the action anymore because somebody else messed her up. Because she's going to the bottom, it could be that me and Jesse placing our cubes there has ruined her plans. So she's decided not to go there anymore. Boozled. So once we've all placed our cubes out, then we're going to start taking the actions around the track. Each time we're going to go down and down. This one, if you want to go a second time, the second time requires two cubes. That's why these are kind of bonded together like that. And this is the fourth cube he's talking about you get for the rest of the round, so I suppose. Like That's right. Yep. So the reason that these are here is to remind us to pick up that fourth cube at the beginning of the second round, which is when this is going to all come into play. All right. The first round only, we have three cubes. So what are the different actions? The first action right here is foraging for ingredients. You can select any of the face-up ingredients, which is... <laughs> One of these five. I won't go through every single little detail, but you can select one of these ingredients or you can take a face down ingredient, either way. But these cards do not refill until the start of the next round. So if you, all five of these are gone and you're still here, you're gonna have to take from the stack. The next one is the transmutation. This person transmutes ingredients into gold. So this is a way that you can turn in an ingredient card that you have, one of these, to get a gold. Right. Next over here, this is selling potions. We're not going to do that in the first round, so I'll wait and explain it when we get to it. 
This is buying artifacts. Now, all of the artifacts that are going to be in this game are known to us from the very beginning. These are the round one artifacts. These are round two, and these are round three. They are common knowledge from the start. These round one artifacts, if no one buys them by the start of the uh, third round or fourth round, something like that, they're going to get trashed in the second ones are going to come out. Every time we have one of these, um, whatever that thing's called, exhibitions, there's going to be new, new uh, artifacts that come out. The artifacts cost the dollar amount that's right here in the top corner. You probably can't see that, but it's a little gold number. And you're going to get points at the end of the game for having them. They also all have a special ability. After the scoring tile. Yeah. After the scoring tile. Yeah, the exhibition, the one that goes right here. Okay, so these two actions are not available at the beginning, so I'll skip them for now. This is how you find out about your potions. These two actions right here. This one lets a student drink the potion. So you're trying out your potion on a student because you don't know what these potions do. You're guessing. You're mixing two ingredients together and you're guessing what it's gonna, what's gonna come out. So feeding the, the little student a potion, you're gonna find out the answer immediately. And of course you're gonna use the app to find that out. It's gonna make one of seven different kinds of potions. There's um, red, blue, and green positive and negative, and then there's also the neutral potion. The students won't charge you anything to try out the potion, as long as they haven't drank a negative potion that round already. If the first person in line makes their student drink and he drinks a minus potion, everybody else is gonna have to pay the student a buck, because he does not wanna drink any more negative potions. Mm -hmm. But as long as he keeps getting fed positive potions or neutral potions, which is basically toad soup, he will continue to drink them for free. That could be an example of where you put your cube on here, but the first person gave him a negative potion and you don't have a dollar to pay. So you're gonna have to forfeit your cube back over to here. Oh. Now, if you don't want to deal with the inherent problems of dealing with the student population, you could just drink the potion your own self. That's what this action right here is. Now in this situation, you definitely want to drink positive potions because if you drink a negative potion yourself, it will have a negative effect on you. The blue one makes you go insane. You run around naked all over town, ah! and that makes you lose reputation. Ah! This is your reputation track right here. We all have 10 to start, but we will be losing it and gaining it throughout the game. The green one is the paralysis potion. If you drink that, you're gonna have to put yourself over here in this paralysis spot, and next time you're gonna go last. The red one, is poison. Yes, yes, that's right. If you get poisoned, what's gonna happen is your cube, you're just gonna take your cube and move it right over here to the hospital. You're not gonna get to use that cube next round. You get one of your cubes. So that's how that works. If you drink a positive potion, nothing happens. You just feel good about yourself. Is mm -hmm. it 33% is it chances for each outcome? I don't know the percent chances. Okay. Maybe someone in the chat could tell us the answer to that. I didn't major in I mean, statistics. There's three, well, there's three <laughs> options. Are they equally weighted? Is this <laughs> college? What do you mean three options? Yeah. Well, you this get is a, like the college. Oh, you can get one of these of or one of the positives three. or the neutral potion. There's seven different potions. Okay. The College of Exploration striking. Yeah. Potions not included. So Abstract. what is the deal with <laughs> the deduction and the ingredients? Each of these ingredients has an aspect to them. So the ingredients are listed up here on this board, and here are the eight different aspects. Throughout the course of the game, we're gonna be trying to figure out which of these aspects goes with which of these ingredients. And the way we're gonna figure that out is by mixing different ingredients together. I like the way you think, Heather. <laughs> mixing the ingredients together, and that will tell us some information. So let's just say these two had these two aspects. If I mix these together, what would it give me? Well, you guys don't know the answer to that because I haven't explained it yet. But mm -hmm. <laughs> what I will tell you is this would give you a positive red because what you're looking for is the same symbol in different sizes. So this one has a big positive red and a little positive red. When you mix that together, you get a positive red. That's what that would make. Mm -hmm. So if I put these two together, I would then be able to take a positive red, I'd actually take two of them out of this little container I have here, 
piece is, this is not included with the game. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna put it back here inside of my little player board. Inside of here is a little pyramid that helps us keep track of what we've learned and what potions we've made and how we've made them. And then I'm gonna use a little piece of paper that I have back here and a pencil, looks like this, to mark on here, yes, no, maybe so, X's and O's, I can write whatever I want on here, to help me keep track of which component I think goes with which ingredient. And once I start figuring it out, I can start publishing theories about the ingredients. And that's one of the easiest ways to make points in this game. The theories are gonna be published up here. And you may publish theories that are wrong. That's okay. And someone might debunk them later. And that's something you're gonna have to mitigate. Mm -hmm. The publishing of theories and the debunking of theories cannot be done in the first round. So I don't know if I should just wait to explain them or should I explain them now? Um, no, we may as There's well go. There's so much to this. <laughs> There's so much I haven't said yet. <laughs> I'm like, oh so God. Oh God. <laughs> Blood Boiler and Peter, what's important that I haven't said yet? <laughs> I know I haven't said a lot, but what's important for us to just be able to start? I think we have enough to start. The thing about the rule book for this game is, it's one of those rule books that uh, is trying to be very funny and very, very thematic. So that means it's almost impossible to find anything in it. <laughs> um, so I did print out a little, turn, a little cheat sheet over here that'll help us keep track of everything because there's a lot to keep track of. If we start doing something wrong, um, you guys tell us. Okay, so let me explain the deduction one more time. In order to make a kind of potion, mm -hmm. you need a large and a small of that same thing. So for example, if I mixed these two together, what would I get? Blue. Blue what? Positive. Oh, positive, yeah. Yes, blue positive. That's right. Is there a blue positive on this little list? I don't see blue positive. The Look way that. that they knew is because it has a large blue positive and a small blue positive. Oh, so this example, an example, this is an example of, you can put any, any one here, but it's showing you you need a large <laughs> a and a small of way. that type to make that kind. Oh, okay. So let's look at another example. Melissa, this is a challenge for you. What do I get if I mix those two together? Uh, negative green. Yes, that's correct. Yay! Mm -hmm. I did it! <laughs> that's exactly right. All right. You get, you get a sticker. <laughs> yeah, I get a gold star. So if I mix... Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of going at this the wrong way. <laughs> Hello, now you understand that. Hey, Catch a Tomato. Let me explain something else. I just got a gold star. Yay! <laughs> if I mix these two ingredients together, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. And the result comes out a positive red, okay? Then that tells me something about these two ingredients. It tells me that they cannot have negative red in their, in their parts, in their molecules. So the green one, I would come here, everywhere I saw a negative red, I would put an X. Oh, I see. Yeah, so then the root, I would come over here, and everywhere I saw a negative red, I would put an X. Oh, so it can't be that. Because... You must have a positive red in order to, for these two ingredients to make that. Right? Yes. Now, I also said something about a neutral potion. The neutral potion is made when you mix two things that are opposite together. What is opposite? Well, you'll notice that the sheet is broken oh, up into like rows of two, four rows of two. They're kind of shaded. The first two are opposites. The next two are opposites. The next two are opposites. And the last two are opposites. Anytime you mix two things from the same shaded column together, you're going to get a neutral potion. So that can help you deduce a lot of information when you find that out. Hmm. Everybody got that? Yes. So hmm. if it's like a positive red and a negative red and they're both big, that's a neutral. Not necessarily. But it said it's like the same thing. So like a well, little green it, and, a, and a little green that are positive and negative, that's a neutral, right? Yeah. What? They're grouped together. The positive and, and, a positive and negative of the same size and color makes a neutral. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
all aspects must be that. Got it. But look at the lot bottom two. You know, mm -hmm. they have a positive and a negative, but they're both big. Mm -hmm. When you mix them together, you get a neutral. A neutral. All three aspects must be opposites. Ah. And you'll see yeah. that also on your player board. There's an ex, ex there's an example of that over here. Wow. Cool. Lots of stuffs, lots of stuffs. So that's really complicated, but I'm glad we have a couple people in the chat who've played this game before and are experts. And I did read the rules this morning. Yeah. So I think we should just start and just see. Okay, well maybe I should explain the selling the potions. Okay, you cannot sell potions in the first round, but after the first round, you will be able to sell potions to these adventurers who are coming over here to shop. So this particular adventure wants a red plus, a green plus, and a blue minus. If you can sell him any of these potions, he'll be very happy with you. But you don't have to sell him exactly what he's asking. I mean, this is alchemy, it's not an exact science. Okay. You just need to make a guarantee of how close you're gonna get to making that potion. So when you put your, your token here, it takes two, because one of them's gonna go down here for which one you plan to make. Mm -hmm. And one of them is going to go over here for how well you plan to make it. So if you think you're going to make exactly the right potion right up here, you'll get four bucks if you do. If you think you're going to make a pretty close potion, the plus or minus is going to be right, but the color may be wrong, you can put here and you'll get three bucks. If you think you're going to make a neutral potion, you can put here and you're going to get two bucks. Like you're not sure if it's going to match. Down here, this is if you're just like, well, it's going to be a potion of some kind. It may not match at all. Then you get down here and you get one buck. If you don't meet... It's a titty dollar. <laughs> if, if you go to one of these bottom ones, what this is telling you right here is you're going to lose reputation for doing that. Because you didn't do a very good job of selling to him and he's going to tell everybody about it. Like, don't go, don't go messing around with this alchemist. They don't know what they're doing. Now, this is probably a good time to explain that where you are on the reputation track will offer you certain benefits and also certain consequences. So if you go down, down here into this red zone, you're going to have to face Ooh. these consequences right here. And what that is telling you is every time you lose one population, uh, lose one reputation, you're going to lose one less because people expect you to be bad at this point. <laughs> so, and this is saying you cannot offer, like if you offer four dollars, if you offer this one for four dollars, you're actually only get only gonna get paid three. Oh wow! Because you're not very reputable. Now, if you get up here to this yellowy, greeny section up here, mm -hmm. every time you lose one reputation, you lose another one, because expect people expect better. more of you. Yeah. So the hard, the higher you are, the harder you fall. But you also will get one extra smiley face whenever you do the bidding, which I haven't explained at all. <laughs> you get up here into this blue area, which is the whole rest of the track. Every time you lose reputation, you're going to lose two additional reputation. Also, whenever you're selling, you get one extra smiley face and you get one more buck. Mm. That's what that all means. So what's the bidding? Turn order over here is not going to matter as much because we're all going to bid, which is using these cards that we have, by giving a guarantee. So you have different amounts of smiley faces on here. Mm -hmm. Whichever one you give, let's say I gave this one. I'm gonna. I'm saying yes. You're gonna be. Uh, He's going to be this much more happy, but I'm going to take $3 less. Mm -hmm. So if I play this one, I have to make sure I'm going to one of these two spots. Because, I'm, no, I can't go here because that would give me zero. Mm -hmm. I got to go to that spot if I'm going to play this one. Okay. So you can get extra smiley faces for hot, being higher on the reputation track. But um, what this basically means is you're, you're giving like a price. You're giving yeah. them a cheap a sale. Okay. And if my sale's better than Melissa's sale, even if she was ahead of me in line, I'm going to go in front of her because I'm offering a better sale. That's what that means. We don't have to worry about that until the second round. Yeah. 
Got it, Joe? Joe's over here heavy breathing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> why did I sign up for this? <laughs> what was I I just want to know. I think is there one right, that's that, 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 like hemlock or something like that? Take it. On the mic. I'll be right back. Euthanasia kind of thing. My nose will make big noise on my nose. Just go. Do you have any more of that coat? Yeah, I have one of those. There should be some. Oh, okay. An important aspect, bluff. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, you mean bluffing with the bidding cards? I think that must be what you mean. Um, <laughs> explain what you mean by bluffing. That wasn't in the rule book. Um, okay, I think we're ready to just start playing. If anyone's curious, there is an apprentice version and there's a master variant. We are playing with the apprentice version because we are all apprentices. <laughs> So, it's true. Jesse, where would you like to go on the turn order track? Okay. So huh. these purple things are the favor cards. The yeah. green ones are the goods. And in this situation, you would only be able to take them from the top of the stack. I'll take a, what is that, a three? Three ingredients. This one right here. Yeah, three. Sounds good to me. Okay. I think he just takes that immediately. And take it. So I don't have a plan. I don't one, like two, what I three. got. All right, Joe, uh, which one would you like? I'll go the one below him. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna get two of these ingredients <laughs> and a favor. That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, here to take two ingredients. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about going. And Melissa, who commonly is not at her seat when it's her turn. She's making me a soda. This is that on Friday nights when, as well. When you do the you do the mixing and you do use that, then you then you get rid of the cards that you the ingredients cards, do they go away or do you Hmm. I think they go away. I want to go first. Because otherwise you could I mean it's something I mean how many ingredients are there? Yep. Are there? It's like eight. So you just once you get eight of them. So we are apprentices. These are things that Ronald knows that we don't. Okay. Apprentices are we. I would like to go first. I'm going to go this nice little job. place. So I get I'm surprised they haven't published one? Alchemist with the dice game yet. What is it? One little something. What do one I get? One of these. Should be easier. Ah. Good. Thank you. So All right. Good. Since Joe's at the bottom of the pile, he gets to put his cubes out first. Which is awesome since he's never played this game before. <laughs> Love with the theories. Uh, put it you will be able to do some Make sure you don't forged. always publish correct theories. Yeah. Oh. Don't only publish when you're 100% sure of something. Maybe by publishing a wrong theory about something critical to your detection process, you'll make someone debunk your theory and it helps you. Hmm. And That's advanced. Uh, you can just give them all. <laughs> the, student, the student test. That is advanced thinking. Yeah, we're we're just trying to like just get through. <laughs> what is, how does the transmutation work? Uh, you have to give him an ingredient, and he'll give you a gold. You did start with two gold, by the way. Yeah. You'll need gold in the future for publishing theories. Okay. And we're buying artifacts. Yes, we're buying artifacts. I mean, I've seen the game go by with no one buying an artifact before, but that's also because we didn't know what we were doing. I'll um, I'll try and drink my own. I'll try and drink my own stuff. All right, you're gonna drink your own potion. So the thing you want to make sure of if you're putting two cubes out here is that you have at least four ingredients to make two potions. Oh. Some people forget that. How many ingredients do you have? I have two right now. No, you started with some as well. Yeah. Sure. Starting off with three, I think. So unless you, you have a lot of, now. unless unless you have a lot of repeats. So I'm good. Yeah, you don't want to make the same potion twice because you're like, I already know what that one does. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, so what Peter's talking about is publishing theories, which I haven't explained at all yet. But he does give some good advice there. It's just that's probably more advanced than we're going to get into today. Speaking of advanced, uh, Jesse, your turn. Where would you like to place your cubes? Um, uh, let's go with... Buying an artifact? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. What are these up here? These are future artifacts? 
Yep, the ones closest mm -hmm. are level two, and the ones farthest are level three. Hmm. They'll come out whenever these um, larger tiles come out. Yeah, I'll do uh, what Joe did on the top, and then also artifact. Where did I go here? Yeah. So um, I just want to make sure that you are aware that you also have at least four ingredients. Yes. While, okay. while you were going, I asked, once we, if we put the ingredients in the mix, then do we discard the... This yes, okay. those ingredients are going to get discarded face down. No one will know what you are mixing okay. together. That's very important in this game because we're all going to find out the result. You're going to show us what you made. We just don't, we will not know how you made it. And we'll also put that token out here on your little board so that we get to see um, that you know how to make that kind. Mm -hmm. You know, we know he knows how to make a red plus. So if the person over here really wants to buy a red plus, we know Joe can sell it to him, and that's important information for us. Yeah. But Melissa doesn't know how to make anything yet, so, you know. Nothing. <laughs> or Nothing whatever. Draw. <laughs> All right, I'm going to definitely gather ingredients. I'm going to drink, I'm going to feed him a potion, and I'm going to drink a potion too. Or maybe I'll do just two for him. I don't think I want to take feed a Feed the child. Yeah, that's right. what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. How dare you, madam. I'm going to go here. And here. Okay, and just to be sure, you are going to have two ingredients to, to make something with? Mm-hmm. Okay, just want to make sure that's a very... Hmm. Right, yeah, I, I said that earlier. It's just toad soup. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Toad fine. soup! Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's still willing to pay you two bucks for that, but you lose reputation because it's obviously not a potion. Yes, this game is super thematic. Everything has a thematic reason for it. If you don't want, <laughs> if you don't know what it is, ask me and I'll look in the book because there's tons of paragraphs about that. Just, Half the second. book. This is how much it cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm not gonna be able to buy it. They only have two gold. <laughs> then why are you there? Well, I was like. Well, Jesse, how do you have more yeah, than two gold? Yeah, how are you gonna go there? Oh, he has something over there. <laughs> oh, I can't go here. I don't have the money. I just realized that. Well, maybe you should select a different place then. I'll just go. Maybe I should look at my card. <laughs> Come on, we're drinking potions. Yeah, I'm try it. Everybody's doing drinking it. party. Oh, Ooh, we're at the frat. <laughs> if you're I'll curious about a hurt, how a certain card works, um, all of the cards are explained on the back of the rule book. So if you have a question about it, you can look them up. What did this say? Oh, that. Mm. All right. I really don't understand how that works, but I'll read about it later. Okay, Next. so we've mm -hmm. all placed our action, action cubes. Now we get to resolve the actions, and we're going to resolve them in this order. So we're going to start here with foraging. So when oh you do the action, you take your cube back. So Melissa's going to take her blue cube, and she's going to take what she wants. I would like you that. You can choose one of these or a face down one. Uh, I would like that mushroom, please. One mushroom coming right up. Thank you. Now, if you're like a card counter or something, you could like keep track of what cards people took, but you won't know what cards they already had. So, I'll come here and let me see what I have in here. Hello, hey, Dysphamonite. Dysphamonite. You made it. I think I'll take the chicken foot. We have just started the Which first one. What do you turn? want? I'll take the ginger root. Okay. One ginger, and here's your Marianne. Let us know in the chat star. if you know what that means. <laughs> Nobody went to the transmute action. Nobody is going to sell here because we can't yet. But there is someone ready to buy a potion. Oh. So which potion will you buy? Potion? I'm sorry. Artifact. <laughs> I will cash this in. Oh, shopkeep. One artifact costs you one gold less. Good. He spends all his gold. Yeah. No, so uh, no you're going to take it to the magic mortar or the discount card, I'm guessing. I'm going for the discount card because I'm planning for the future. <gasps> for the future. So your next artifact costs two gold less. After that, artifacts cost you one gold less. Yep. Sounds Big profitable. bad discounts. Yep. Sounds we can just make a stack of gold profitable. right here. How about that? So you guys can have some. You you take your cube back. Best, best game. What's that? That's game right there. Yeah, that's game right there. Yep. I have way more gold than everyone else. Yeah, yeah, and he gets his cube back. 
Thank you. All right, now we're ready to start feeding the student. So Melissa is gonna put her stuff in. Now it's very important when you stick the ingredients in your slot that these two dots are visible at the bottom of both cards. Oh, okay. It will okay. not work if you okay. don't do that. All right, what well, I'm gonna go for. And in your app, you're gonna select this. Uh, something about student. And Test on student. This. I have the two cards in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'm not looking. <laughs> so, test on student. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a screen that looks like this, like a camera, and you just want to show those two cards in yep. the picture. And it'll show you when they're both found. Uh, oh. Would you kill the child? <laughs> and then <laughs> when you get do? to this screen, like this, you're going to push confirm. Yep, I did. And, and it says... should show us you the result. Yep, it did. So okay, so show you? us the result. Everyone, so show the camera as well. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you have poisoned the poor <laughs> students. Oh, no. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Name. This is my first time. <laughs> Great. So the first thing we need to show is that Melissa definitely knows how to make poison. <laughs> and this goes into your little triangle, and you can discard those as soon as possible because I can see them. <laughs> Face down. Thank you. And then this goes in my little pyramid thingy. Yeah. And then you can start marking stuff on your sheet that you mm. deduce. Now that you know those two ingredients so, make a negative red, they cannot have a positive red. No matter mm -hmm. if it's small or big. That's right. Now we don't know what she mixed together, so we haven't learned anything except for she... <laughs> She, <laughs> she definitely knows how to make poison. And everyone now is going to have to pay a dollar <laughs> to use the student. Oh, no. I poisoned. So I'm going to go They're first with my yellow here. I'm going to pay one coin to poison the student because he refuses to drink potions now because of Melissa's poisoning tactics. Oh, no. What have you done? <laughs> You can't see that, can you? Mm -mm. Yeah. All right, and Joe and I can't see anything. <laughs> I, have to, I mean, I can't see it. If I like oh, lean back. Right. Oh, <gasps> I feel like you were going first. I yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know how to make the positive green potion. Thank goodness it'll make potions for the children. I know nothing, and I won't know anything. So I'm not paying a gold. So Jesse has decided not to pay a gold, so mm -hmm. he's going to go over here into an unused cube area. If he has two of these at the end of the round, he will get a favor card. Correct. If he just has one here at the end of the round, nothing will happen. He'll just get his cube back. Now, despite the fact that I gave the guy a positive potion, it doesn't matter. He still remembers that he got poisoned, and so he will not drink unless you pay. All right, so I'll pay. I remember, pay the what, child. I remember what that woman did to me. She tried to poison me. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget this. The positive potions are also going as well. <laughs> Heather has transferred to your class, Ronald. She does I not like wish it. to be poisoned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, so I made a speed potion. The blue one is wisdom, and the pink, the red one is healing. Okay. I got neutral. Okay. A neutral, a neutral potion. Here's your um, neutral. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What are y'all doing over there? I just buy things. What happened to that student? I'll you, find out something in a second. You don't right. want to know. <laughs> what happened to Billy? Why is he in class anymore? Didn't you hear? The teacher tried to poison him. Oh, no, not Billy, no! <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm only amused. That's okay. Oops. Scenes by Melissa. <laughs> it's a new uh, Twitch channel called Melissa Skits. Yeah, yeah. Skits Cats. Hmm. Right. Melissa, the, the one-woman show. Yeah. Yes. 
Ah, oh, Snape's, Snape's potion, potion class. All right, I'm going to come. So you gave him some toad soup. Yes. But he still remembers that Melissa poisoned him. Mm. So I've got to pay another dollar to come here. Now. Maybe by tomorrow he'll forget. So tomorrow's potion so. will, tomorrow's student will forget. Yes, yes. you're correct. To- Toby is coming now. Yeah. He looks exactly like the other one. Test on a student. (gasps) He found out how to make what Melissa made. Poisoned him! I'm not the oh now, Heather, you're gonna have to transfer out of Rosa. He's poisoning people now. He fell for it again. (laughs) Exact same thing. Wait, oh we are poisoning Mm -hmm. students left and right. Yeah. Kill the children. All right. These student workers. Yeah. I'm transferring to another school altogether. <laughs> There's not Joe just for made uh, toad soup. I mean, he didn't really hurt anybody. Know, I don't, the neutral thing. Do you know anything? Yes. You know. You know not. those two things <laughs> make a neutral potion. But at this point, you can't scratch anything out. Well, that's what I'm saying. Right. You need more information before you can scratch something out. So just put your token in your triangle. You did that right. Yeah. Okay. I'm to, looking at it, but to I'm remind like, you. Yeah. There. Okay. So because what you need, you know, I don't know which one. Which one? There. There. There's. Its counterpart is exactly. I don't know which one is. Okay. If you found out that, <laughs> you know. The first ingredient wasn't the first line, then in, you know the second ingredient can't be the second line. Because they've got to go together to make toad soup. Okay. Like, but you've got to find some more information about those ingredients yeah. before you can solve anything. So it makes toad soup even if toad isn't one of the ingredients. <laughs> we are out according to the book. <laughs> it could be That's the same. Flour Everybody, and everybody's gonna turn turn something into good. All right, Melissa, you ready to drink a potion? Oh no, I'm scared. It went so well last time. It, yes, it went so well. I'm scared. All right, I'm putting stuff up. All right. Yes, we have begun, Blood Boiler. We've poisoned the student twice already. <laughs> yeah. All right. But I did give him, a, give, give him a nice um, green potion that I don't remember right. what it does. Drink potion. I drink a potion. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh no. Let us let everyone see. Is your volume on? I don't think nope. so. What was it? Can we see? It's a negative. Ah! A negative blue. Thumbs down. I'm going ready. That's around. an insanity. <laughs> so you're ah! naked running in the streets. There you go. I'm poisoning the student. Wait. Wasn't that la- lady that poisoned the student? <laughs> she has She's crazy. <laughs> so Melissa is going to lose one reputation because everyone found out about how she ran naked in the street. Yeah. And, and poisoned the student. What will the people think? So if you can move Blue down to nine. She's the least reputable teacher at this school. Oh, no. I don't think we're teachers... Not sure. I've got to stop remember. poisoning students and running I didn't read that part. <laughs> All right, Red Man, you going to drink a potion? I'm drinking a potion. Can you discard your cards, Thanks. Melissa? Here we go. Discard cards. Thank you, right here. These. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I've gone crazy, too. <laughs> Jesse is now running as well. I don't know anything. Oh, yeah. All you have to do is go, I got this from Melissa. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She told me to drink this. I used the thing with the residue in it. <sighs> I, your red cube is there in front of you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, Jesse. I'm going to bring you down one reputation because everyone saw you running naked. Yep. And, wow, this game is Ouija board accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no, oh, what have you done? Oh, you're no. Paralysis. He's yeah. like... <laughs> He's paralyzed himself. Oh, There's your um, tokens. Here, I'll put this one out for you. I stuck a mark on my cube. <laughs> oh, you already So really is that like... means Joe is going to move down to this green spot. And that's, that's it for him. He's not going to be able to choose another location next round. 
So this is actually in a situation they explained in the rule book. I was like, well, that's not ever going to happen. And now it has. I the wrong thing. Wait a second. All right. So now that we have finished the first round of the game, we go through the end of round steps. There's no conference. The top alchemist award... The player with the most publications receives plus one. Yes. So that's part, that's what this um, area right here is explaining. Once, <laughs> starting in the next round, the player who has the most published theories, um, well, just publications of any kind, is going to get one uh, reputation. Mm. And if it's multiple people, they, they all get it. So if all of us put out one publication in the next round, we're all going to get one reputation. But if just Jesse does it, he gets one reputation. Then the two cubes would come back and you would get a favor, but you only have one cube here, so you're just going to take the one cube back. Then the hospital would move. There's nobody in the hospital. The new adventurer comes out. That's him right here. So I'll give you your cube. Here's your cube. Here's mine. And Joe's cube. The ingredients and vials get re, um, replaced. So these ingredients are going to get trashed. And we're going to get new ingredients out. A root. A flower. A toad. A mushroom. And a scorpion. Mm -hmm. Now pass the starting player to the left. Jesse. Oh. Now, in this situation, our starting player is actually paralyzed. Uh -oh. There's a whole paragraph about this in the book. Since you're paralyzed, you don't get to be starting player because you get nothing, basically. So you just pass it to me now. Oh no. <laughs> well then. Your choice was made for you because you got paralyzed. And if I had also been paralyzed, I would have just kept passing it until we got to someone who wasn't paralyzed. And in the unlikely situation that all four of us were paralyzed, yeah. then it would just go back to you. Like, it would go to the person that was supposed to be next in line. I didn't write it. I didn't write the rule. <laughs> well, at least they, well, at least they have contingency, so yeah. yeah, make up your own. Just I'm going to go here. And get three ingredients. But I will say that this is, you know, this is pretty bad the way you treat somebody that's just, I know. You know, just paralyzed like that. Like just, he needs help. <laughs> it's like, nope. I'll uh, help him as soon Melissa, as I go. Where do you want to go? <laughs> yeah. I like the two ingredient spot. You can only hear the music when that part of it plays. <laughs> <laughs> every time that hear. part plays, I can hear it, but that's it. Because every time I hear it, it's always that part of the music. <laughs> Once every 30 minutes. <laughs> it's all Jesse? Um, I'll go for uh, the one and one just below Melissa, I think. Yes. Thank you. Okay, and Joe's going to get one and one as well. Because his choice was made for him. Thank you. Paralyzed in his bed, unable to get up until like mid-afternoon. All right, now let me explain the rest. So I talked already about nice. selling to the adventurers. There's going to be a different adventurer every time. This guy wants these ingredients. Mm -hmm. They all want different things. When you publish a theory, yeah. you are going to put one of these aspects on one of these ingredients and say that you think that goes with that. Okay. You don't have to be right. But you're also going to include one of your stamps face down like this. Your stamps have different abilities on them. You'll notice some have question marks on them and some have stars. If your theory is completely right, then this star one is going to give you five points. If it's completely right, the silver one is going to give you three points. But it's unlikely that, that you're going to be completely right. So what you're going to need to do is hedge your bets. And that's what these question marks are for. 
This means, for example, this green one means, I'm sure about red and blue, but I'm not sure about green. That's what that means. So if you put that there, and it turns out green was wrong, but you've hedged your bets against green, you lose nothing. And that, there's a picture of that somewhere. I don't know where, but there is a picture of it somewhere out here. Um, if you had hedged against some other color, let's say I hedged against red, but red turns out to be right, red was not the wrong thing, then I'm gonna lose five points. Pretty sure that's right. I think that's right. Is that correct? <laughs> I've been guilted into going insane. My reputation. At the end, if it's at the end of the game, you lose four victory points. Ah, my plan is working. <laughs> if you if you use an unstarred seal hedging against the wrong color, you lose five points whenever the whenever it's debunked. If it doesn't come that you're wrong until the end of the game, you only lose four points at the end of the game. But if you've hedged against the correct color, you lose nothing. If you put a starred steel there and you're wrong, you lose five points. <laughs> oh, sorry, five reputation. During the game, it's reputation. At the end, that all the reputation will get converted into victory points. Hmm. Okay? Okay. So. Oh, this is publishing a theory right here. Publish a theory, you've got to pay a dollar. You can publish a theory and you'll get one reputation for publishing, for publishing the theory. Nobody cares if it's right or wrong. You just get one reputation and you have to pay for it to be published. Okay. If someone else comes behind you and says they also want to agree with your theory, like let's say I'm already there and Joe's like, yeah, he's right about roots. It definitely is that one. He can come here. He'll have to pay one buck to the guy who's going write to write it in his book for him. And he needs to also pay me because I already proved that theory once. And if Melissa was also there, he'd have to pay her as well. Hmm. That's what that means. All the people. And since you weren't the first one to come up with it, you don't get any reputation. But if you have put your star there, and it turns out to be right at the end of the game, you'll get either five or three points. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, not all theories that are published are right. So they can be debunked. That's what this is all about. Debunking theories. If you put out a theory that is wrong, someone, or even your own self, can debunk that theory. And there's a button in the app that says debunk theory. And you basically choose what you think is wrong about it. You put it in the app, and the app tells you whether you're right or not. If you debunk someone else's theory, you get two reputation, and you can immediately publish a theory if you have a cube there, even if you're last in line. But it has to be either about that ingredient or that molecule. You can't be like, I debunked your theory, now I'm going to publish this about flowers. No, 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 no. It has to be about either this or that. Gotcha. To immediately, and you must have a cube there. And you still have to pay. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm just going to get students poisoned and run. If you try to debunk somebody, <laughs> and you, the game. if you try to debunk someone and you're wrong, you lose <laughs> reputation. I think that would be obvious. Yeah, how dare you Heretic. debunk. <laughs> it's a brand new day. And the sun is high. Okay, there's also these. Um, I don't know what those things are called. <laughs> I can't do it. The master debunking. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, no, no. I can't even figure out one. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but there's those things. In order to get these, poison to Billy. the first one. Yeah, Peter, exactly. In order to get the first one of these, you just need to know, you need to have your seal on two of the ingredients that are listed. So if I want to take this one, which is going to give me two bucks and two uh, victory points at the end, I need to have my seal on either these two, these two, or those two. 
grants. They're called grants. Then I get a grant. I get money and I get points. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to put it right here. And that's reminding me to get another one. I need to have three of the pictured ingredients. The first one, I only need two. After that, I need three. After that. You get research grants if you publish enough theories, just like what Blue just said. Now, there's one in the middle that has four symbols. You can go for that one as well. Oh, dear. Right now, I'm just trying not to poison students or myself. <laughs> That's the goal. Yeah, it doesn't no actually... poisoning. It, in order to get the grants, it doesn't really matter whether you were right or not. You just got to have your, sh your, your shapes out on the board. No. Oh, here's something. Yeah, if you get debunked, you're five, you lose five points. Oh, Ooh. there's the picture. All right. Questions? <laughs> Thoughts? Can Concerns? No. Are these really discards or are these yours? They're discards. Okay. All so, right. uh, Joe is going to put his cubes out first. I'll put them out for you. No, we have Ingredient. four we could put out now? And yep. then... The student. One for the ingredient. And, and one for, on the transmutation. One to transmute. And one on the student. Um, you want to publish a theory? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget the person who's published the most theories or has the most seals out there is going to get one reputation at the end of the round every round for the rest of the game. Um, I'll, I'll put me again on the ingredient thing. Yeah, that's good. All right, next will be me. Do you on the fourth spot or third spot? I guess it doesn't matter. It point. does. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just an idiot. <laughs> oh, I could sell something to that guy over there. Do I have the stuff I need to make that? I'm the only person that knows how to make a green plus. Well, you can see Melissa and I know how to make a blue minus. Yep. Nobody knows how to make a red plus yet. But seeing as how we could... All three of us can make something he wants. We're on the bidding war if we all go there. If all four of us were to go there, only three of us would be able to sell something. Hmm? If all four people put their cubes in that area, only three of them will be able to sell something. That is important. Oh, because once it's fulfilled, it's... Once he's bought all three of those things, he's not buying anything else. Oh, so since you're the only one that can make green... You don't have to worry about us because we don't know how to make green for the most part. Unless you wanted to try to go there and guess at it. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> I'm very, very thankful that my group here, they are pretty loving when it comes to that. So they're they're usually very <laughs> thankful and nice towards me. So I have no complaints. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for noticing that. Um, <laughs> He is the rules lawyer. Yes, and I yep. have shirts to prove it. <laughs> okay, but I don't have Sputin. what I need to do that, so I'm not going there. I need to convert an ingredient into a dollar because I need to be able to put out something. He's going to write something. He's going to what? He's going to publish. Yeah, he knows more information than all of us. I know nothing. Nothing, nothing, tra-la-la. -la. I mean, I know some things, but I don't know enough to publish anything. I mean, just make a guess. Oh, yeah, you know as much as he does. Kind of. <laughs> he knows two things. I only know one thing. Ronald taught us wingspan last night. That's why it's sitting up on the shelf behind them. Yep. And we'll be playing it on Wednesday. Yay. You guys, I don't know where to put my last cube. Put it on the um, unhappy face. I'll get here. <laughs> Poison the student. <laughs> yeah. All right, Melissa. Uh, me. Hey, Melissa. Me. Um, Melissa. Uh oh. 
I need that. Ah, those are my actions. <laughs> Come back here. I'm just, just trying to take my actions. Uh, item. Item. That's not items. Oh. Yeah, that's what I meant though. Oh, foraging. Ingredients. Foraging. Okay. What is item? <laughs> Items isn't well, a thing. Artifacts. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought you meant. Oh, not an artifact. Um. Thanks, Heather. Let's go for the and sale. Thanks, Blood Boiler, for reminding everyone that I'm Ron Sputin. I need a shirt that says Ron Sputin and that um, thing that you photoshopped on front of it. <laughs> that wouldn't be creepy at all. And let's go student drink. I was curious what you thought of it. I didn't get to talk to you after the fact, so I know Jesse and Melissa liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the little colorful cubes. What's the... Underneath the, the hero track, the hero sale thing, those cube spots, what's that for? Okay, so um, the people who put their cubes here, right. after the bidding war is over, are going to put their cubes here in order. Okay. The first person gets the first pick of which one of these they're going to try to make. Okay. And then they're going to put their cubes here for which guarantee they're going to try to make. Okay. Mm. I don't know that song. <laughs> what song is that? Ron, 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 Ron Sputin. Is that what he's trying to do? Um, Auto parts. Oh, no, it no, can't no, no. be. <sighs> Some of the items are really good, but the first game yes. I find they are in the realm of too much oh. for brain to process run, run, for most people. Run. What the artifacts? I don't know. I think he that's said, what he means. I'm just a love machine. I don't know this one. So, <laughs> did that explain Our what? Is, is the deal love machine? Yeah. Okay. Running this mutant. Um, <laughs> did everyone put out all? I don't think Melissa, that. you put all four of your yes, cubes? I did. Okay, well then let's start going through. Uh, did you guys get your stuff that you were due? Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you've got your stuff when you put your thing there, right? Yes. I did get two ingredients. Okay, so let's start here. Melissa, pick an ingredient, um, or you can pick the random draw. I would like a flower. One flower for Melissa. One flower. Jesse? Take a toad. Toad? You? Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna take a rando. I'll take the mushroom. Melissa? I would like the root. The root. The root is on the fire. The Drake root. Now, would you like a scorpion or a random? Or I'll take the cube back. I'll take uh, a random. Random ingredient. Okay, so now we're over to transmutation. Confirmed. Melissa, give this man an ingredient and he'll give you a buck. Just put it right here in the discard pile face down and take a gold. Oh, I went there too. He can here. have this ingredient. Okay. And I take, uh, where's the dollars? Right there. Aha. I take the money. Uh, Run. I think I'm going to give up this one. Get a dollar. Here's your cube. I got me dollars over here. Oh, there's your dollar. Oh. All right. Europa's Sam. greatest love machine. Oh, you needed two cubes Sam. there, Jesse. You can't oh, go there without two cubes. So you either have to get not the, uh, get the student or not get the artifact. Two cubes there. You um, see how they're kind of like stuck together like that? Yeah. Whoops. Let's go for the student gone. Let's put it down there. Okay, so first you need to decide which one of these potions you're going to try to make. Mm -hmm. Which would that be? Oh, I'm going to go for the negative blue. Okay. Then you need to decide what kind of guarantee you're going to give. I guarantee it. You're giving the highest level you of guarantee. guarantee. Yeah. I guarantee. Since there's no one here... If you're That's able to so track advanced. exactly what they had, but you didn't know what they started with, so like, 
Here if you are. see their hand get go empty and then they you saw what they draw up, yes. But like we started with random cards, so and we just discarded stuff to get gold. So then we might have discarded yep. what we just picked up. Yep, so exactly. Like, ah, keep, keep up. All right, so you're gonna go into the app and you're gonna select sell, whatever. That's true. Ah, don't ah, look, don't look, don't look. I'm not looking. Why did they leave that gap there? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see. All right. It was scary. Everyone else saw it. <laughs> you mean that's, the people on chat? That, that's moving down the reputation track. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Can't keep your ingredients. That was a reputation. Can't keep his ingredients in the cauldron. Yeah. He runs around naked all the time. Yeah, sell potion. Pick a potion to sell. Uh, blue minus. Mm -hmm. Now this is going to give you a piece of information. Is it mm -hmm. me or you? It's, it's going to tell all of us. You're going to have to show everyone. So what he said is, I'd like to sell a blue minus. Um, you're not quite on camera there. No. Oh. I'd like to sell a blue minus, and this is telling us what level of guarantee he achieved. So if, no matter which one he would have chosen, he, like let's say he chosen this two, he would only get paid two, even though he actually hit it right on the nail. Like yeah. this means he got the right color and the right aspect. So he gets four bucks. If oh, someone God. else was here with you, you would have had to do the bidding. But since you're by yourself, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Perfect. He got and there's $4. bucks right here. Well, he's going for an all artifact strategy, so that's mm. probably good. <laughs> that's it, the all artifact strategy. Oh, I know what he's going for. What? You just got four bucks, and there's a printing press. Yeah, that's pretty nice. The magic mortar, I think, is even better. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what it's I'm going for. It's three bucks to him. It, oh yeah, the two, two current, right now for yeah. the first one. The first so you one, get a four well, for a two. Going now, so I'm gonna use my first discount card. My next artifact costs two gold less, so I'll pay a gold for that magic mortar. Oh. Okay, so here's this, here's this. All right, there you go. And you're done. And I'm done for the round. So I'm now I'm gonna publish a theory. You're going to publish. Which is not, probably not smart, but I did it anyway. Don't fry their brains. Can't fry my brain if I don't know anything, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I'm publishing this theory this right today? here about the feather. The feather? Let me just look at this one more time. Make sure I've got this right. The feather, huh? Yes. The feather. The birds of the feather. And I think that that is this one. And I'm going to pay $1 to publish that theory. And I get one reputation for doing so. What does this do again? Oh, shit. Yep, Ronald's theory is bogus. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm going to get points for it. <laughs> or lose points. Well, right now I'm just going to get points, and every single round that I have the most theories there, I'm getting another point. <gasps> no freaking way is that correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try. I give you the room code, and you can test on your own phone. I'm gonna Let's try not to. Do that. That. <laughs> I'm gonna try to team. I'm gonna try this thing on the student. I hope that he doesn't get poisoned. All right. Die, student, die. I hope you are not going to get hurt, student. Ah, he did not get harmed. I did good. You did all right. I did okay. I did not harm. Was it for you? There was no harming. No harming. No harm, no foul. All right. He's going. He's going. God. All right. All right. My turn. Plus you. My two were sold. Yeah. And he's not charging you anything because she made a nice one. I need Here's to look at these just one final time before I do. Uh -oh. Okay. 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 Wait. And a plus. I got a negative red. Poison. Those are my sold stuff. Okay. Forgot about that. Oh. Oh. Use the poison, the student! 
It first doesn't matter if Billy. he poisoned it because there was no more student testing that day. First yeah. it was Billy yesterday. Now mm -hmm. poor Toby today. Yeah. Who's next? How many lives will it take? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got a positive on these thingies. So wait, I gotta mark this correctly. So I'm gonna so drink my own potion because I am uh -oh, a scientist. Wait, this is a positive. Not no I got on the wrong side. So so far I made two negatives and a positive. Correct. Okay. Positive red. Mm -hmm. oh, Medicine. Oh, it's a health good. potion. Healing. Mm -hmm. You know how to make so much. I'm very smart. Professor Ron Spute didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so that means. Oh. That means I need to get closer to this paper before I start writing on it because I can't see. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is the end. Okay. So I'll take my cue back. All right. So now the uh End of the round. So we're not to round three yet, so we don't have a conference just yet. Then we would um, get the top alchemist award. That's going to be me. So I get one more point, please. One more point because you have published the most things. That's right. I've published the only things. The unused cubes, we don't have any. There's no one in the hospital. The new adventurer comes out. Oh, technically you're supposed to know who the new adventurer is going to be one round in advance. No. I was looking for positivity potions. Doctor Feel Good. I think maybe I'm supposed to flip this over so you know who's coming next. Yeah, so she likes only positive potions, so make sure if you're gonna sell to her that you can bring her something nice. Like me, I have two different kinds of nice potions. Mm -hmm. Some people only have negatives. I have one positive. But mostly negative. Okay, next. Bad stuff. Refresh the ingredients and the vials. And pass the starting player to the left. Yay. All right. And All now right. we are ready to put out some new cards. Are these? Is this trash? Yes. Make sure everybody's discarded their cards from their... Thing. I should start putting my stuff over here so it's not too thick. Stop. Is that? Your hand? This is my stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. So that was round two. This game has only played over six rounds, so we are a third of the way done. That's not that bad. was fast. Mm hmm. So what are we missing out on? Not being masters. You would have started with fewer ingredients. Oh. First of all, um, the uh, conference that's going to happen is going to be much stricter hmm. if you're playing in master. And as he was saying in debunking, much more difficult. Hmm. I couldn't even be bothered to read all that. Right. I couldn't <laughs> even understand it. Melissa can be thinking about where she wants to put her thing. I know where I want to go. Uh huh. Um. You said you know. Same place as before, the two, the two ingredient one. There you go. Jesse. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'll show you when we get to it. Oh. At the end of this round is going to be the conference. If you have published a theory, good. You will get one reputation. If you have not published any theories, you will lose one. And also these are going to go away. This is going to go away. So you need to have at least one of your things out here somewhere on the board. It doesn't have to be on your own theory. It could be on someone else's. But you need to have at least one. If you don't, you're going to lose reputation. Put me ahead of Melissa. 
Joe. Um, I'll go. I'll go for the three ingredients. This you. Like, oh yeah. well. Sorry. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go here. So is that by the next round or before the next round? At the end of this round. Oh, actually, you know where this is supposed to go? Right here. So when we get to the end of this, this is going to happen. If you don't have one published or your thing out here somewhere, you're going to lose a reputation. And when we get to the other one, you need to have two publishes. Or you're going to lose. <laughs> that forces you to do I things. I don't know. <laughs> and if you wanted to play in the master variant, you would need to have two published by the end I of this. Say, uh, you're yeah. not. That's the thing. Uh, right. You don't have to be right. Yeah, you don't. Have barely to. done anything. You could be completely wrong. Did you mention about the last round or waiting? The last round or waiting? Yeah, there was the last round. Said round one through five, and then it said final round. When we get to the last round, we're gonna use this thing. But wait, there's <laughs> more. <laughs> 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 We're gonna do an exhibition. It's actually gonna cover something, isn't it? Yeah, it covers up uh, something. The last two testers. I think it covers people. up yeah. these two. And basically, we're gonna be trying to do an exhibition of these different kinds of potions. And if you can make, if you're the first one to make a kind of potion, like if I'm the first one to make a red plus, I'm gonna put my cube up here and get, uh, get reputation. If I make also the red minus, I'm not even, I, if I'm the first one, I'll get one reputation. But if I've made both of the same color, I get two more reputation, even if I wasn't first. Just if I'm in both of these columns, I'm gonna get two. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Blood boiler, <laughs> what does that mean? Good if you don't have any potions. A neutral, neutral means you lose. It's not a neutral. Uh, uh, I think it, might, it might mean if you make the wrong one, if you Maybe make the wrong kind of potion. For none, you... it's just an empty bottle. Maybe if you have nothing. If if you do not get the result you claimed, you will move down to that space. Uh -oh. So if you're claiming I'm gonna make a green plus, <laughs> and you get, you it, get wrong, it wrong, it's bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Bad. Okay. Wow. Oh, and also in your little sh book thing on the right shows you all the ways you can earn points at the end of the game. So your reputation is gonna convert to points. Your um. Those things are going to turn to points. <laughs> Grant. Those things. Grants, your grants. Um, that next thing is your uh, artifact cards are going to be points. These uh, pink cards are going to convert. Each one's going to convert to two money. And then three money is one point. And then your correct stuff up here you're going to get points for. And incorrect stuff you're going to lose four points for. All righty. Unless you uh, hedged against the correct color. If you hedged against the correct color, you don't lose anything. So that's how that works. It's time for yeah. tubes. Mm. So much. All right, cube time. Yeah, this is not in play yet. Time for tubes. And we're not done yet. <laughs> oh, and wait. there's still more. There's rules. more. Uh, <laughs> wait, still a little bit more. <laughs> I want to get a feather in my cap. There you go. Go for it. I mean, it will be a while, but. Yeah. It's for the exhibition phase. It might help. You're publishing more? That's what this game is about. <laughs> Publishing theory. That's how, how you get points. How See, you this is what happened during so TI4 much. last night. The other two guys were just like, la, 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 la. and I'm like, 
Wait, I'm going for points. Wait, I'm how are this they? is for points. Oh, that's for points. I'm gonna do the things that are all for points. And in no time I had nine points and they had two each. Wait, how were they again? <laughs> this is literally this is what they were doing. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was Scallywag Joe and Travis, so they weren't doing that exactly. But they were like, I'm building a fleet. That's why I refuse to play with people. I'm like, why are you building a fleet? You don't need a fleet. The goal is to have technology. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't. I played Space don't Go you, for points. That's yeah, what I don't, did. Don't you hate it when gamers do that at the table? Yeah. And there was oh, literally a moment it. when they could have, they could have like, I was gonna get a point for something, and I was way in the lead, and they could have easily stopped me by attacking me. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They were scared of the. They didn't even notice. You still they didn't even talk care. About being attacked like in Di. Well, last night I was in a great mood. They could have attacked me as much. They did. They did. They, they attacked me over and over. I didn't even mind. I was like, I don't care. Should I go I for still the... hear about TI3. <laughs> um, All right. It's um, hold on, please. Oh, oh. Something happening? Yeah, I think something's going to happen. <gasps> <laughs> I'm playing my associate. Oh. You doing something? Yes, yeah. associate. Choose one action space. On that space, your cube's going to top. Mm -hmm. What if I go there? You have to go underneath me. And push everybody out into the way. Ooh. What if I play an associate? Then you will go on top of me. Okay. Oh, I love terraforming Mars. I have, that on the I have that on the schedule at some point. Strangely, wingspan for so, like, terraforming Mars, something. having all the different cars. But mm. as I've read in the rulebook, there's a lot of cars that do the same things, which terraforming Mars, I want to say everything's different. So that was debunked. <laughs> debunked. But at the time, that's how I felt. All right. Uh, looks Joe. like it's Joe. Don't get lost in that book. <laughs> it's only 20 pages. <laughs> All right, so I'll go. It says, my associate and I would like to go first. Will that be a problem? Transmute. No? Why, thank you. <laughs> All right, Asiri. Oh, the associate card. How dare you, sir? Ah, Sorry. There. Like Theory, that. Yeah. And. And make the student drink. Oh. There. Oh, what's say me? Why are you yes. in the first spot in the student drinking? Because he used an associate. Yeah, the everyone else has oh, to go down associate. one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he switched strictly to digital version. All right, I'm going here, here, here. That square's in the wrong spot, but quick fix. Oh, okay. Oh, you're publishing a theory, Melissa? I am. I don't want to be minus. It might be You could be totally minus even more if your theory's wrong. Yeah. Well, it might be right. I don't know. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a theory. It's a theory. <laughs> it could be right. All that confidence. It may be right. It's not that hard to get published nowadays. <laughs> I might be crazy. Oh! Well, but it just may be peer a is really bad. that you're poisoning. <laughs> Running this is what streets. everyone's doing. I'll take an ingredient. Ingredient? Visit this place. No one has he is going to. for all, all, all artifact strategy. Blood Boiler and Peter, you've played this game before. How does the all artifact, all, all time strategy <laughs> work out? Speaking, of course. I think I get a lot of points out of it. No one else is going for it. You may be wrong for all I know, but you may be right. You may be wrong, but you may be right. If you want to watch Melissa sing all the time, you can go to <laughs> Melissa's twitch.tv slash Melissa Sings. I was there this morning. Yes. While I was reading my rule book. You requested <laughs> the climb, which is the first time I ever did that song. And it actually wasn't that I bad. I thought you were going to play a karaoke track, but then you started playing the piano. I'm like, yeah. So you don't even remember that song. Now you're just playing it? <laughs> I remember He's publishing a strategy. He don't even, he's publishing something. He don't even know anything. I know everything. He knows he, nothing. These artifacts off. have been telling me a lot of things. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, Gigi's over here now, too. A follow from earlier this morning. Yeah, some of the artifacts are really good. <laughs> that was before the show. That was like right after my stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought I heard a follow over here. Let's go here, but I'm going to push See, Melissa down. I did, I, she's did in a, my spot. I did a sub earlier today, but I guess it didn't come through. Oh. Here? Yep. No, it did not go through. Oh, no. Weird. Can I subscribe? I don't believe you. Yeah, <laughs> some, says, some of the artifacts are really good. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Jesse, which one would you like? Um, or would you like a rando? Let's sign up for the, uh, I don't know, claw. This one? Yes. I would like the toad, please. Thank you. I will take the mushroom. Over to me, Ronald. Flower or a rando? I don't know if we're going to have that one this game. <laughs> um, nope. Doesn't look like it. That one's not in our game. No. The uh, artifacts are chosen at random from a pile of artifacts. Given that they're flower. I'll pick it. All right, transmuting. I'm going to transmute one as well. That's a strange transmutation noise. Transmutation <laughs> central! Transformation central! Illumination central! You've made meth. The, the, yes. sh the shadow man! You don't know my now, Princess Frog. Shadow man. Transformation. Uh, you're buying... Transmutation uh, yes. central! just me, huh? Everybody. Well, I have a discount card, so I'll take the printing press for three dollars. And oh, give me that. Buddy, and oh, yep, yep, yep. I do not have to pay a gold to the bank when I publish or endorse a theory. What? How nice. Well, speaking of which, it's time for you to publish a theory or endorse one. Did you pay for this? Did yes. you have to pay for this one? Where'd the money go? It's in the pile right there. I just paid for it. Pay again! I didn't see! <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Pay more money! I didn't see it! <laughs> Alright, go ahead and publish your little thingy without having to pay! I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> I have a print printing press. Mm -hmm. Must be nice. Mm hmm, it is. I have a theory about. <laughs> hey, why are you sniggering? <laughs> This is serious science. You and your theories. No doubt. <laughs> I'm so ready to hear about it, Tim. <laughs> yeah, my theory, uh, if you could believe it. I don't believe it. Not for a second. Is the... Did you know nothing? <laughs> <laughs> the top right one. This one right here? Yes. Big minus green, little minus blue, little plus red? Yes. Okay. Uh, that looks like a toad. Toad? Uh, toad? What? Scorpion. Why toad? I don't know. Why scorpion? I don't know. Just mushroom. Saying. Mushroom. Mush I say it's a mushroom. No. Fern. Uh, maybe nope. the claw. You're all wrong. This one is the claw. Ooh, the claw. The claw. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. ah, bad. Um, so what do I get bad. out of that? Give me stuff. You get nothing. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, you have to pay a dollar. 
He I don't. He has a you get one reputation. You get one reputation. Well, now looky there. I am part of the science community. I have community. distinct opinions about that. Put a ribbon. <laughs> uh -oh. If you like it, then you better yep, put, you need a to put a ribbon, ribbon on it. If you like it, then you better And if I were you, I'd hedge on something. I wouldn't put one with a star if I were you. Yeah, the stars mean you're sure. Yeah. Silver means what? Silver stars. Still, st I'm sure. I want to get three points if I'm if I'm right. Oh, like when you run out of. Yeah. Those stars. are one use. So like once you've used it, that's it. If you're if it's wrong and all of these are. Yes. Okay. And, and then go back in the box. Remind me again what the colors are. I'm sure so about. So if you were to put your green one on this, uh -huh. it means I'm sure about red and blue, but I'm not sure about green. If green is wrong. I still don't lose anything. I'm hedging my bets against green. That's what it means. That means that you don't think, you don't know if green's positive or negative or small or big. Right. Okay. Gotcha. So if the, choose the color that you're uncertain of. Sure. So whatever information you have should have narrowed something down. Garol D's. <laughs> Wait, so for the color thing... Yeah, so that's a five star right there. When it says you're hedging on 100%. it, if you're not sure about a certain color and you put that color on it, that means that's the color, you, if it's if it's wrong, then you won't be penalized. Is that right? Right. The color you put out, if it's or wrong, penalized. you won't be penalized. <laughs> but if it's correct, do you get anything? At the moment. No, you don't get anything. Only if you put a star. But you could put stuff later, can't you? You could put little ribbons on it later. You could put the same ribbon in the same book later, if you want to. But like, say right now, I'm gonna, I'm fixing to publish something. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Right. Just, so you want to put the like, hedge hey, out. You want to hedge the color right now, that you're not sure of. And then later, if I figure it out, I can put one of the ribbons with the for sure thing on it later. Yeah. Or you might need to de debunk that because it was wrong. And then go and publish it somewhere else. Okay. If you find out later you were wrong, you're gonna someone needs to debunk it before you can publish the correct one. Okay. If you find out it's right, then you can go later and put like one of your stars on there or whatever. Okay. So I'm going to publish the. Um, Pib gold. Here's the gold. I'm gonna publish that big plus red little. Plus green, yeah, that one, on the toad. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, you need to put one of your banners out, and Melissa gets one uh, reputation for that. I'll do it. Oh, I, I'm back up good. My crazy running around. No. All right, Joe, what do you want to publish? I want to put this on the mushroom. All right. What are you doing over there? Ronald is making fun of all of us like a smart person. <laughs> Joe gets one point for that. This was for you. You must have one in your triangle already, yeah, huh? Yeah. Sorry. Um, I transmuted something earlier, but I didn't take my coin. Oh, you get a coin. I'm spending it right now. Okay, oh. I gotta spend it. I'm publishing Not so a theory. smart, are you? <laughs> Not so My smart. theory is going to be about... Now, don't y'all go poisoning this student now. So far, Billy, and then Toby, okay, and now William. William does not want to be poisoned today. No. Well, somebody put something wrong on the one that I was going to put out right. It wasn't me. So now I gotta go somewhere else. It wasn't me. I don't believe it. It wasn't me. <laughs> All right. I gotta, Science is never wrong. I got a big old hot mess around here. It's ridiculous. D 
debunked. Debunk all of it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the flower. Flower. This one. You can call me flower if you want to. Now we're over to student testing. Yes, we are. First year. This is the only board game, or one of the only board games, where you're allowed to have your device out. Them. No, no, that's not poison. Oh, that's you, not? You're making him run crazy in the streets. Insanity. I mean, you've hurt him. <laughs> yes, but the insane. red one is literally poison. Now he's right. paranoid. Now he doesn't want us to want to drink our yep. potions unless and we pay him. That's garbage. I don't know why I don't have money, but I don't. <sighs> oh, at least I have some money. But still. <laughs> we buy artifacts. Yeah, maybe. Stay, stay on the artifact store. <laughs> I can't help it. The shopping habit. There are flying pigs here, I just noticed. Mm-hmm. Like that theory of yours is correct. <laughs> My pigs fly! <laughs> and then there they go. Like, oh, that pigs are flying! Ah! Well, right. move me Everyone around. else has I'm to no pay goal. a buck. Alright. Here's a buck. Hopefully he'll like my potion better. I'm putting these two thingamabobbers out. Hmm. Test on a student. Oh no. I'm gonna poison the poor kid. <laughs> no one's safe. He's the same really poison. feeling sick. <laughs> sure he has that one too. Okay, they're down. There's your minus there. I got neutral. You got another neutral. <laughs> Master that can't be good. At the neutrals. Here you go. All right, now we're going to come over here to the okay. conference. Conference, adjust reputation depending on what it says here. So the person who has published at least one of these mm -hmm. gets one reputation. So that's all of us have published something. So if you could move everybody up one space. I'm now in the yellow area or green. I can't really tell what color it is. Green. Anyone who has not published anything is going to lose one reputation. And the rest of the artifacts get dismissed and the new artifacts come out. Here. So that's the end of that. Well, so what are you doing? I was sure drawing. She's <laughs> doing some deductions. I need my stuff in for this. Yeah. this Next, the top alchemist award. Like to do that. I'm the one who's published the most theories, so I get one reputation, please. Rich, get richer. Thank you. Unused cubes. Unfortunately, you only have one here, so you get yeah. nothing. The hospital, nothing happens. The new adventurer comes out. Here he is, and we find out who the next adventurer is going to be. Who the next adventurer is an evil one. Mm -hmm. This guy right here likes a mix. This goes to you. The vials get oh, trashed. Wow. New ingredients come out. And... The studying prayer is passed. 
and that's the end of that. Yeah, you haven't got to go first yet. I haven't got to go first. (laughs) Thanks for for reminding me. (laughs) Well, he could always go first. He can put his cube right, his thing right here, and go first. Oh yeah, I mean, first in choice. Um, Oh, and you get a gold for it, huh? Or you have to pay a gold. Pay a gold because remember you have to stop and get breakfast. (gasps) That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take the uh, the two purple cards. These are called favors. Favors. Two favors for you. Or two purple cards. Two purple Joe. Cards. I'll do the one one and one, the one above Jesse. Say you run spitting. Um. I'll go here. To get two of these. I would like to go f- first here on the one. Oh boy, I'm last. Cool. Gotta shit. <laughs> Poisoning this. <laughs> it's like, as long as it's not me, so far, poor William and Billy yeah. have been poisoned at my hand. Mm. But Toby was safe. I did not harm Toby. So, Jesse, where would you like to put your cubes? All right. Well. Today's subject, Robert. I'd like some money. Oh, also, I um, get this because I published two theories on these different things. True. So I get two bucks, and I'm going to get two points at the end of the game. Let's do some stuff. Do the stuff. Let's play this custodian. Cube. That's going to be a drink potion before the cell potion action. Just make sure you have enough ingredients to do all of that. You'll need two ingredients to drink, then two ingredients oh, to sell. Oh, okay. yeah, I got plenty. Oh, um, yeah, because I forgot you haven't done any tests. <laughs> also, get to keep them. You get to keep them. Keep one, anyway, at random. But I oh. haven't even done it since then. <laughs> oh. Well, that sounds very useful. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to have to go sell. In which case, I'm using an associate to be first. Or, you know, for now. But remember, there's going to be bidding, a bid war that happens here. Mm, oh, right. So the bid war, whoever wins the bid sells first? That's right. Whoever provides the l- biggest discount is going to get so to go first. So it doesn't matter going first there. Well, not necessarily, no. Okay. Then I will not use it there. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll hold on to that. I might use it later. And I would just like to point out that this guy doesn't want the only thing you know how to make. That's okay. Okay, I just want to make sure you saw that. I know it's been a long time since you played this game. (laughs) I'm going to go here. here. You got some money over there. Money is is public knowledge. Yeah, I know. And you're seeing it all. (laughs) He has no money. I know that. Tell him to start going to the artifact store. No money. These cost four dollars. Yeah, no. He's he's counting on selling some. I'm confident. He's confident that he can make a negative potion, but sell it to a guy that doesn't want a negative potion. A negative oh potion. lord! <laughs> <laughs> he has. Marketing. I have lots of ingredients. Yes, he, he has marketing. He's gonna be like blood boiler. <laughs> <laughs> marketing. Pick the market. I, Are you sure you want a positive blue? The negative blue is a good issue. Blood boiler. I really agree with you. I. Dislike that part of the game. It felt so weird when I was reading it this morning to be like, really? You do why, that? Why okay. is there a bit more? Yeah. I mean, I get it, like, in the whole, like, theme of the game and everything. So, uh, Joe, where would you like me to put these for you? Um. I have one gold coin. I'll put it on the ingredient track. And then the transmutation 
track. And uh, the, the student. I put me on the student. Okay. Yeah, do the student again. You have enough ingredients for all those tests? Yes. Oh, and you're going to train me the one that you take. Whatever. Yeah, I'll choose one. Well, I think one important thing I need to do is debunk somebody. Jesse, hot after the cup. Sorry. Oh, we're dropping. <gasps> what is happening? It's begun. Ah! Oh, wait. Nope. What? And we're Lost back. Along. Thanks, packet loss. <sighs> I have a plan. Hot after the cup. I think I'm going to put out a custodian. I see what's that chalice. What's custodians do? Uh, he lets me do a drink action before cell potions happen. Yeah. That's what I want. And then I'm going to publish a theory. And... Yeah, why not? Oh, I just realized you're going to have to go to the cell space for that. <laughs> it just happens before the cell space. Did you not want to? Yeah, it's fine. I'm locked in. And then Melissa? I took my hands right. off the cubes. I'm going to do say, this. If it, if I She's were got away. an assistant. So place when you're declaring actions. For this round, you have one extra action cube. Oh. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to debunk. All Publish. those are accurate, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and let's see. How many of these things are boppers? Do I have? Find some information. All right. Oh, wait a second. Well, no, because if I make him go negative. Mm -hmm. You can always make yourself drink. Yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, what's the worst that could You already went running, screaming naked through the yeah, I mean, quad. I mean, heck, what a, mm -hmm. what's the next thing? <laughs> I poison myself. <laughs> Go, go so, we're ready to start. Melissa, forage. All right, I'm going to forge up me that uh, mushroom. Just grab it. I'm forging this mushroom. Sounds good to me. I'm taking... Um, this assistant got used. Chicken foot. I'll take the root. The root, the root, the root is on fire. Um, transmute. No, be oh. careful! Danger, danger. All right, here we go with some sullens. Drinks first. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna drink first. Oh. Is there a turn to do that? Bloop, bloop, I guess bloop, we bloop. just do it. I was before you, so I think I go first, but it, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Can I switch the card I just discarded? Yeah. 
I'm ready to go now. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. We just all have to be able to see what you made. I'm drinking. I don't watch. I can't watch. Ah. Positive blue. Positive blue. Positive blue. This gamble paid off. <laughs> kind of early. Well, I do have to get rid of these. Nope, it is. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, it's five o'clock right now. Hopefully, we have duplicates of it. It is five o'clock. All right. Um, <laughs> so I have a magic mortar. I only discard Forty one of the ingredients. Solve. Choose one. Good time to drink. That's the one I get rid of. Okay. This one goes here to the pile. Oh, oh. thank you. Oh, here I got it. Cool. <laughs> yes, six echoes. See, the, as the song says, five o'clock somewhere. Drink Wait, potion. Oh, I got you. So. I'm not sure I haven't already done this before. That and that. Okay. That was annoying. Uh oh. So that's a neutral. Just as I suspected. <gasps> Just as I always expected. Unfortunately, Six Psycho, I don't think I am winning. I don't think I'm very doing very good at all. <laughs> I, I keep poisoning students and running naked in the streets. <laughs> he wasn't here for that, so he's like, what? <laughs> like, what? Running through the streets? <laughs> he likes that the game is cell phone integration and mm -hmm. some movie things. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Liz is running around naked and poison people now. This is the game. <laughs> yeah, the students were not doing well enough. Or I wasn't doing well enough. And so people got poisoned. All right, Jesse, uh, which one of these would you like to promise to make for this guy? Um, I'm going for the the full Monty. <gasps> the full Monty? Which or, one uh, is that? Oh, the, uh, I'm sorry. The four uh, plus blue. Which I know how to make and for four dollars. I was like, well, what do you mean here? Now this is a game. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm saying cell potion. Positive blue. Oh Monty, isn't that a scam? Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a scam. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, he got it. He it! So he gets I'm four. Also playing this. four Dollars. Yes. You give me an extra buck. The if you sell first, gain one gold piece. If not, you may sell any of the three potions oh, as man. though you were first. May as well get the money. So you get five money. Five bookers. What? That'll help him go for his all artifact strategy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh dear lord, <laughs> he is scamming it up. Y'all are scared, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know I'm anything. I'm so frightened. Uh, here you go. So next is buying um, artifact. I know what I don't think anyone's do. fighting you before them. So which one would you like? Right. He wants that chalice. Huh? No, no, no. Thinking cap. Oh, thinking cap for three dollars because I get a discount. So this is an immediate effect that happens right now. Yep. And then you're done. <laughs> oh, speaking of this thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, uh, I would so, not be a good this, uh, person to bet hearts on today. Though I don't think there is betting for hearts today. But if there was, don't bet on me. When you mix a potion, is a sale mixing of a potion? Mm, that's selling a potion. I think so. Okay, mm -hmm. then I have to discard just one of these. Well, she is currently yeah. tied with Jesse for last oh, place. Uh, I looked. Uh, I don't know what you, you cheated. did. All right, so I'm going to do my thinking cap right now. Thinking cap, I get to do two of these scans. So what is this? <laughs> Such test. a nice way to put it. <laughs> is this a test on student, I guess? But Jesse has tons of points. Te no, you're drinking it on your, you're testing it yourself. Yes. Yeah, oh. Isn't that right? It says test up to two separate pairs of ingredients in your hand. Do not discard them. Fortunately, we have a book that explains everything. <laughs> okay. Thinking cap. 
Which Use the test on student button. You have to okay. show the results to the colleagues as usual, but there's no penalty for mixing negatives. You're not allowed to use the same card in both experiments. I'm not. I have two different pairs. But if you have two toad cards, you could use them in both experiments. Sure. Here we go. This is Jesse Ketchup's up oh, card. <laughs> Sounds like a slippery slope, especially when they all keep getting poisoned and paralyzed. Oh. Poison. Poison. Okay. You need a bit more information. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying to catch up. Okay, and I get to keep that. And my other thing. <laughs> no, the goal is to actually uh, what, publish the most theories that are correct or something like that what's the like overall goal of to get playing? the most points yeah. oh neutral most points wins. yes you get a lot of points by publishing theories by having artifacts um what's in other things that it says over here artifacts sound nice what what are they you have to pay money for those yeah nobody wants in to order to get money you have to sell po potions in order to sell potions you have to know how to make potions that people want the guy who wants negative potions is coming up next. Melissa, you're all about that. Oh, yes. But not only do you have to know how to make that, you have to have the ingredients that are required to make yeah, it. That's the hard part. That's the hard part. Cups give all the points. A cup does give six points. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's typical uh, in-game score? I have to look that up. Did I? Let's see if I was tracking back then. What were you doing with those ingredients you had in your hand? Oh, you could keep them on? A cup of, I'm done a, with thinking. A cup of so good it's not, cheer. It's not a cup of anything. <laughs> it's a, All right, it's Melissa. A of, it's a chalice. Um, Someone's debunking. Yes. I thought I was on debunking. Oh, I guess I decided not to do debunking. So I'm, Melissa's debunking a theory. I'm debunking my, my own theory. February She's 27, debunking. 2016 was the last time we played this. She's debunking her own theory. So what happens when you debunk a theory? Ronnie right. won with a score of 30. <laughs> I had a score of 19. All right. So Melissa had 24. You're going to go into the app, okay. Melissa. All right. Debunk theory. Yep. And now it says um, you're going to choose an ingredient and a color to see if the signs match. So you're gonna choose the toad, right? Mm -hmm. And then which one of these do you think is wrong? You're saying that, that something's wrong with that. Yes. Which one is wrong? So I, I tell y'all? You're gonna punch it into the app. Oh, okay, so I did that. So now I just push confirm? I think so. And so now what? Oh, this you do answer. show us, Okay. I think. So. Yes, so the toad should have been a negative on the red. So red was incorrect. So now we're going to reveal what is here. And you hedged against red, so nothing happens to you. Good. Um, this is just kept over here, so we know that she used it. You used it to now, yourself? Mm -hmm. Nice. This comes back. Since you have a cube here, you can immediately publish, if you want, toad or this. If okay. you don't want to, you don't have to. I wish to have... Where is it? Is Maybe it it's there? because someone else put it on their thing incorrectly somewhere. <laughs> oh, what? No. no. Somebody has made a mistake. <laughs> a lot of people have. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> you don't have to. I don't know if I want to publish now because the thing that I want, want is not available. Hmm. Well, you could publish <laughs> yeah. something else because it's technically your turn now. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> so, we, so we know that it's a negative red, but we don't, do we not know the size of the negative red or was, that, was the size given? No. All we know is it is a negative red on Toad. Hmm. 
So what are you publishing, Melissa, or are you taking your cube back? I'm gonna take the cube back. <laughs> it's a free action, so it's really good. So do it if you can. Wait, it's a free action. Oh yeah, because I did take a free action. It's not free. But I used an assistant to get that fourth cube. It's part of the action. Out. Oh. So I really should use it if I can. You can. Um, all right, I'll publish something. All right. Cube back, I'll publish. Pay one buck. Yeah, okay, pay this buck. Publish, well, let's see what's available that I think would work, if anything. All right, I'll publish this one on this. <laughs> what? Why are you shaking your head? I'm not. <laughs> I have to put a ribbon on it, huh? That's kind of funny, though. That, like, you could, everybody publishing wrong things can hinder the person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People just putting stuff wherever because they have no idea. It's like. All right. There. I published. Next. <laughs> I learned it. I did like three I had potions a, this turn, mine, so. I will admit mine was a 50-50. <laughs> Mine's like, don't admit. Mine's so wrong. Mine is 100% right. Oh, it was a 50 50. I, I don't know. It might be right. You might be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just might be hey. the lunatic. Through the streets. Well, so the things I want to use. You're paralyzed. <laughs> you just got poisoned. I really wanted to publish a theory, but it's what I need is not in, is not available because ah, someone's used it somewhere else where it doesn't belong. Fancy that! I know those feelings. Yeah, and there's no way if you debunk one, you can't switch to right. There's no if one uh -uh. if the thing you want to use is already taken. There's no reason <laughs> that you can't you can't replace. You got to debunk twice. Yeah, to you do have that. To free it up and so then do you it could, again. You could go here and, and debunk nobody, one and then nobody, debunk another one. And nobody pu pulls your, your ion mix and, and puts it on. Well, they can't because remember, when you debunk, you can immediately publish if you have a cube and publish. Yeah, but what I'm saying, but if that the one you want's already have taken as well, that you want you to gotta switch. you got to debunk twice, yeah. Oh, so I, I should have been able to do that? That's what I told you, Melissa. Oh, I didn't do it earlier, did I? Like for this it's one. It's six of one. You were the next one in row in the line. It doesn't make any difference. But what I got to do to publish? No. Oh. You okay. have to still use your cube that you had there. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay. Let me I ask you a question. When you published that theory, did you get one point? I did not get a point. There is a point. I'm gonna have to publish something that ain't even right because and just debunk it of these people. <laughs> Just to come into the system, Ronald. <laughs> Everyone's doing Just it. Just do it. Just do it. Not Just you, Ronald. do it. Yep. This is re reminding me of science journals. Like people, yeah. people trying to get into it was PRD, which is physical review, the D group, which mm -hmm. was gravity, and then there was PRL, which is physical review letters, which was like if you just didn't have something that was worth anything, but you still wanted to publish, you'd send it to that. I imagine that happens all the time. Yeah. Well, now it's even worse. <laughs> my understanding, it's just yeah. like, like there's no just so much content generated and nobody checking it really, and so it's that just, sounds horrible. Chancellor Raspberry, a, a drink with. Oh, wait. Blood Boiler, I don't know what to do. Everything I want to publish so, is so. taken somewhere else and I can't grab it. I should have done debunking. Move it to the unhappy face. Like I almost did. And then thought twice. I don't think I Now I messed you up. <laughs> I mean, even if I publish something wrong, at least I still get a point for it. There you go. 
he said, after later losing five points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should have debunked. Th- thanks. <laughs> In hindsight, you should have debunked, but, um, yeah. Hindsight is, what, what did he say, hindsight? Too much is bogus going on. Rook is the one with yeah. the small red. Root, small red, that's available. Put that. <laughs> Too much focus going on. Just How does put Peter the, know this? Just put the small red on the root. I wouldn't listen to him if I were you. <laughs> small, small. He put in the code and figured it out. Small red on the root. Oh, just, just. You don't have to blame yourself. There you go. You can blame Peter. Yeah, yeah. Blame Peter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unhappy face! Ah! Right, oh, Melissa. wow! All right, the student. student. The student is going to have low risk, Ronald. That's what we call him. <laughs> it's not that. It's just I would mess more things up for the next round. I'd have to do like three debunks to get things organized in the right way. I mean, it's like you can count on other people right. debunking too. I'm doing this. Are they going to debunk correctly? <laughs> All right, student, let's see if this makes you happy, sad, or neutral. Not only can I see it, like, in my periphery, I can see it on screen as well. <laughs> she so needs like... to back her screen up a little oh, bit. Uh... Or, for that matter, you do too, Ronald. Yay! I did not harm him! No harm was done to the student! Why haven't he put two in the unhappy Robert thing? is healed! You get a um, favor card. <laughs> Didn't you have that plate? Or maybe that was a negative one. You had it twice. I had a negative twice. Okay. And you've had, oh, that's once. I'm positive. Melissa, can you get your thing off of the screen? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no more. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, the paper, my paper. Yeah, there you go. There, everyone's off screen now. Test on a student. Okay. That is a positive. That's your second positive. Mm-hmm. So you know a lot of things positive. I'm positive of that. Mm-hmm. I also got positive. What? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not good, not good. Hmm. I don't want to go a second time. Melissa, you about to drink a potion? I am. Drinking. Watch, watch. I hey, cutie, bo- cutie, botond. Hello, Bodie. Hey, cutie. Hey, Bodie. Bodie. <laughs> cool. Yay! I didn't hurt myself. Uh, I'm so excited. Some stream work. <laughs> stream works. Ah. Uh-huh. What do you do? What are you changing now? I'm not harming myself. I'm so happy. <laughs> Bodhi is a piano player. Oh. It's classical. Not me. (laughs) Romantic. Romantic, specifically. How romantic. Okay. My first mobile app. Oh. We look great on mobile phones. No, we don't. (laughs) (laughs) There's no conference. There will be one next round. Top Alchemist Award. Oh, yes. Very good. That will be me. Could you give me one point, so please? Thematic. <laughs> point? Oh my gosh. Why do you keep getting points? No more points! No more points! 
Oh, I have marking to do. Let's see. Oh my gosh, he was bitten by a rabbit rat. I love it. Okay, unused cubes. We don't have <laughs> enough here to get anything for that. Hospital, nothing happens. New adventurer comes out. This guy wants evil stuff. Oh. That'll be in round five. Oh, yeah, this is round five. So you need to have two published theories this time or else you're going to lose reputation. Um, Is that a groan? It's a groan, <laughs> yes. The ingredients get trashed. Mm. Oh, I had it's like a Lisa Simpson groan. Miles get trashed. There's a Marge. Marge, yeah. yeah Pass the starting player. They both do the same one. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Starting player. <laughs> Yay! Over all the theories. Mm. So that means you just have to agree with somebody's theory? Right. You just gotta have your things out there somewhere. Yeah. The little Although the little ribbons. I'm not sure any of those are good to agree with. Well, I can hedge one. Sure. And I, I think I had two of them. I can hedge. Mm-hmm. So Joe gets to decide where he'd like to fall in turn order. I'll do the two ingredient. Can't endorse yourself. True. coming or that's him right there I mean the next one after that another slightly evil person Correct. Well, he could pay a button and go before you. True. I'm not. <laughs> but, According uh, to the rule book, sometimes it's that important. Yeah. Well, but it's unfortunately, not I have no money, time. so it wasn't available. Well, so did you read everything that Peter wrote about that student that you helped who didn't die? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he says he went on to do great things, and now I realize I don't have money, so I don't think I could do what I want to do. So I might, I might have to switch that. Well, decide. Because I don't have money. Because I could, because you don't get money for debunking, do you? No, you can get money by transmuting. Or by selling goods, selling a potion. Yeah, there's a cat behind my screen. It'll be fine. I'll do it. It'll be fine. I hope. I think. Where's the other, um, okay. the third stage? When does that happen? When that thing comes out? What? The artifacts. Third, yeah, the artifacts. They're going to come out whenever this happens. Oh, like right now then? No. 
the end, end of, of, at the end of round five. Those will be out only for round six. Wow. So this is the last time these artifacts are out. Wait, there's it's, artifacts in this? I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> what is... What? 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 What, what now? Um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm going no, down a different no, row than everyone yeah, else. <laughs> no, none of us have picked any of those up and read them or anything. I know. <laughs> no like, one cares. <laughs> it might be a good strategy. We just don't. I, just, I highly doubt it. But we're going to find out. I just It's complicated enough for me right now. I, don't know. I do have three tracks of this game in here, but that was before I was tracking players. Yep. February 27, 2016. So you just time. have a, that a fact that you played. Okay. Yeah. So no scores or anything, but... Mm -mm. I don't track scores anyways. Well, you had 30 last time. <laughs> All right. It's good for research. Um, let's go with the one on one right beneath. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. All these people in front of me. Right here? Eh, yeah, let's do it anyway. Let's <laughs> go. How did I get to be last? I'm gonna play this immediately. It says play immediately. Draw three ingredients and discard two. Does this mean we just have two more before the final round? This is the second to last round. What's this guy? He's the one who's gonna be, we're gonna sell to in the last round. Okay. This is this round, that's next round. And then we have the final round, huh? No, that is the final round. This is round five, this is round six. Oh, okay. Oh, too debunked. Fortunately, I can only publish one, because I don't have a fifth cube. Unless somebody See, else is going to debunk something. For next edition, it would be nice to have a little colored cube dot meeples next to everyone's name. And match their in-game color. So we always play the same colors. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get around that problem. <laughs> Someone was... Someone uh, jokes that they forgot to... <laughs> yeah, easy enough put, implementation. Yeah, we could put a little meeple with our names. I'm always blue or black, depending on if there's black in the game. If there's not black, I'm blue. One, Which, and... coincidentally, are the two colors of my glasses when I got my new glasses for the year. Black on top, blue on bottom. My two colors. And in that order of preference. Black, blue. Don't need to catch my hair. Oh, why didn't you go first? Yeah, put your cubes. Huh? Yeah, I always say you going first. Discarding two here. Because I was going to do something, but now he's going to... If he's going to... The cauldron. Debunk? Yeah. You can debunk? No, I mean, I was going <laughs> to... Screw, screw some stuff up some more? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to sign on to some stuff that was out there, which I'm afraid now that if I don't, when I sign on to it, you'll, you'll come back. There might be better ones to sign on to. Have you considered that? On our board thingies. Uh, I guess oh, yeah, see, yeah, like mine's a blue out... Border, yours is a red, yours is a green, and yours is a yellow. The little mm -hmm. border, but you don't see them. Yeah, on the outside. They're a little, they're, you can't really see them on screen, but like right here, you can see the green. Yeah, the gold. And the yellow right here. Oh. Vidger! Hey, Vidger! Hello, um, so Red me? Man. Red Man. Red Man. Yeah, um,. When Jesse gets done playing his turn, he can change the camera so you can see. We have these neat uh, multicolored screens in front of us to tell what color each person Ooh, is. Ah. Very, very fancy. Ooh, ah. <laughs> okay. We also have lots of fam what? fancy camera what? angles. What? Yeah. <laughs> tell all your friends to come subscribe. <laughs> uh, okay. Follow and visit. Cards show up. I think at my last session lesson plan for a CTE credential. Oh. Cards show up. 
They have not, unless they're in the mailbox, which I haven't checked today. Maybe they're in there with a puppet or something. Oh, no more <laughs> puppets. I watched that VOD this morning. Oh. It was rather amusing. I just watched <laughs> while I was explaining and you had the puppet. Oh. Pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> the puppet saying uh, the sign this morning. Tell all your friends stream. to come subscribe. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's do Peter the... Peter Size. <sighs> I am declaring action. So let's declare... Actions? <laughs> let's... I feel like I've made a mess of things. Lots of people have. Let's publish something. Except I want to go first. So my stuff doesn't get taken. He's got an associate that said, uh, we'd like to go first, please. Yeah. Exactly, Vidger. That's how I feel. And I've got a lot of it solved. And all of those publications are very problematic. I just right. want to collect artifacts. On the ingredient. And then I'm going to sell something. And then... You want to debunk? You want to publish? I can't debunk and publish at the same time. You want to drink? Let's see what I got. Yeah, I got the student drink. Melissa. <laughs> All right. Very much so. I'm going to. Everybody else is here. I'm here with the artifacts. Blood Boiler, when I went to that <laughs> strategy, I did not know everyone else was just going to foul it up for me. <laughs> I would not have gone there. Yeah. I'm staying away from that mess. <laughs> I don't lose a point for that. I'm still collecting information and everything, and just maybe. Well. Um, oh, Jesse is publishing. So is Melissa. Hey, Joe, join me in the uh, the sales. Yeah, we're gonna sell something. Oh, good for you. Okay. I know how to make those things, but I don't have the ingredients. So if <laughs> that's the problem I've had the entire game. First player may choose Hope to give a student something thing. that they know is going to be bad, just to make everyone no, pay for their experiments. I don't think we are. You don't I'm looking at your board, you're looking at my board. Yeah, yeah I'm making one you don't have. So. And I'm making one you don't have. Neither of you is making a red minus. So I guess we can... Hashtag deduction. something here? <laughs> is that how that works? <laughs> so we don't lose money? If you both put the same thing in, you just go in the order that it says right there. Oh, fair. I gotcha. I, I'm not sure what's happening right now. I don't know. I think it's still Melissa's uh, turn. I have one cube. How does this, like, okay, if I debunk and then I get to automatically publish something mm -hmm. after that? Only if you have that cube there and it will use that cube up. And you still have to pay. I don't know what to do with this cube. Have to just pay. put it somewhere, and then later you can just take it away. Just Go drink something. Frowny face. Make the student drink something. Make Joe have to pay. Oh, wait, you're already doing that. I'm already doing that. I'll, I'll get it only, good. I only have one. Goods are good. Get Forage. Good. In the forest. Yeah, it's probably going to be my best There we go. Yay! We're ready to continue. <laughs> All right, Melissa, what would you like to take? I will take... Would you play TI4 again? The Claw. Maybe so. Oh. The Claw! Joe? I'll take the mushroom. Thank you. Melissa, are you transmuting? This card here. Alright. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh. 
Alyssa knows how to make a lot of stuff. Oh, same number as me. Yeah. I played TI4 last night with three people, Blood Boiler, and I won. Which is something I should never, ever be able to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> I won! All right, green and red, put up your bid cards. Bid cards. Face down. Put up your bid cards. Okay. I think that's how that goes. I think that's how it goes. I don't yeah. know. You both put up zero, so that means green is going to get to decide where he wants to go first. So which of these are you selling? The negative green. Okay, and which of these do you want? The top one. Okay. Red, where do you want to be? Negative red. Negative red. Are you going here too? Mm-hmm. I took a risk. <laughs> Ooh. But it just doesn't play like T.I. It's mm. still potion? It's some other sort of Cell game. Cell potion, yeah. And then you'll show us the result. Uh, that's not good, oh, Joe. Uh-oh. Oh. You put in negative red, but you're trying to sell negative green. Whoops. What? Try that again. I'm sorry, I put it down. I was like... He put in the wrong oh, thing. He he I, looked at the, I looked at the top of the... the oh. uh, yeah, he tapped the wrong one. Okay. I was like, what just happened? Yeah, so you're yeah, getting... all my, everything I know is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We've been there before. Yeah. yeah. Here's your four bucks right here. Thank you. Me. Four dollars. Discard. Red is buying something. I am. Of course. I'm buying a uh, uh, silver chalice. Oh, $4. Look, there's that $3. glass. Y'all been saying he needs that that yeah. glass, that cup. That's for six points. For a discount. Oh, Lord of it, Jesus. All right, Melissa, you ready to debunk Jesus. something? Yes, I'm debunking that plant there. This fern? Mm hmm. I'm a debunk it. I haven't yeah. even seen that card the entire I agree day. with you. <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. That's You're me. debunking your own self. Yes, I am. Seeing what card? The green. Oh. Like in my hand, on the table, I anywhere. I, <laughs> transmuted, I transmuted a few of them. Oh, okay. Not enough good so negotiation. Uh, use your app. I'll play it one of these days. I just felt like playing shorter games, even though I only played like two games last night. I played two games last night as well. Problem is, I, I That's know right, it's you played Raccoon Tycoon mm -hmm. with two people. Yes. I would have definitely played that. It was fun. If I wasn't in the middle of another game. What did y'all play second? Oh, uh, Treasure, Treasure Island. Island. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so you called into question the red aspect, and the red aspect is actually a positive. So we've learned things? Oh, I, I already knew that. <laughs> so, um, so that is debunked officially. Yep. So when you debunk it, you get two points. I'll help since they're busy doing something else. Oh, so I totally missed the first debunk she did with the toe. And so I don't know what I learned from that. Then Probably we not. check and see what's under here. But did you go against red? Nope. No, you hedged on blue. So that means you're going to lose five points. Oh, oh my gosh. Why'd you do that to yourself? I don't know. It was going to happen one way I think she's still insane. Yep, <laughs> I'm still insane. So I lose five points now. Yep. That is huge. No. And the rule book specifically says if you would gain points and lose points at the same time, you. Bunking is strong. Add, you like add the numbers together and get one sum. So she's not going to lose extra because she was in that yellow area of prime for just a second. Because if we would have added the numbers together, she would never have made Okay, so it now time. I get to publish something automatically right now. Yeah, because you have a blue cube here. So you can take your blue cube off and publish something right now. So this is going off. She doesn't get to publish. It has to publish. Book. You have to publish this or that if you want to do that. I want to put something on this. Oh, okay. I see. Those three pluses. This one? Mm -hmm. So, since she's publishing a theory, she has to pay one buck. Pay the one buck. And she gets one point. Yay, I'm back at the start. I'm back where I started. <laughs> Yay. I did a thing. You did a thing. All 
All right. And now it's my turn to debunk. Let me see what's happening in the world. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to debunk that. the chicken foot. On what grounds? Bark, bark, chicken, chicken, bark, bark, chicken foot. Because I think the green is wrong. Mm-hmm. On what ground, sir? Yes. Do you debunk me? All right. Uh, debunk theory. I'm debunking chicken foot. And I think that the green is incorrect. Green is supposed to be plus. <gasps> green You're is supposed to be foot. plus. And it's Not showing minus. a minus right here. Ooh, wait, okay, so chicken foot's supposed to be a plus green? Mm-hmm. So since I successfully debunked that, I get two points. Dink, dink. And now we're going to find out, did you hedge against green? You did. Of so I did. nothing happens to you. Well, it just goes there. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. Now, right. since I have a cube here, I'm going to um, automatically publish this. Yep. I'm going to pay one gold, and I'm going to publish this on the root. The root. The root. Oh, it doesn't go on chicken foot? You can either choose to republish this or republish that. Oh, okay. I'm republishing gotcha. this. Fair. Because you stole it and put it on the wrong thing. Of course. Yes. That was my strategy. Stole fizzy lifty drink. To slow you down. To put I'm on sure. the chicken foot. <laughs> this one I'm going to put here. That is your maybe, third maybe. theory. Do you get something for that? No. Oh. It just doesn't have to lose stuff like us. If I had published Toad or Fern, oh, sorry, if I had published Fern. Oh, because they match. The like, thing. they have to gotcha. match the shapes. Fair. He's debunking again. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm not going to be affected by this one. <laughs> oh, and I did my auto-publish already. So when I published that, stra that uh, thing, I should have gotten one uh, point for that. One point for the yellow? <laughs> Everybody's reaching. Uh, like, uh, we can get it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we've had a phalange dance all stream. No phalange dance. Okay, this time I'm going to debunk. If you're watching, hit that follow button. Yeah. And we will phalange dance for you. Like, I don't want to. <laughs> like, I, I don't, don't know what that is. I don't know what a philandy dance is. But I don't want to I don't want I'm going to debunk out. the feather this time. Debunking the feather, eh? Yes. You're debunking yourself? Yeah, I am. Quite right, quite right. I think when it comes to the feather, blue is wrong. Correct. The blue so is wrong, so the blue, blue should, be, should be what? Plus. plus. The blue should be a plus. So the feather has no blue. Now let's see if I hedged against blue. Of course I did. So I lose nothing. But since I debunked, I get two points. I mean, I have cleared up a bunch of that was out there, so... Yeah, thanks for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but some of my choices were based on some of those choices. So. Happy anniversary, Blood Boiler! Four months today! Nice. Here we go. Yay, <laughs> thanks, Blood Boiler. So, it's my turn to make a theory, huh? Um, oh, you didn't, you didn't publish anything, though. No. So it early on, and early, some, some things that happened earlier may have been. He's amazing. not proud of it. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to top left the feather. Top left the feather. Top I don't, I don't left think the feather. He's gonna publish top left the feather. Yeah. Okay. Pay one dollar. 
Why are you so mad? No, I'm not mad at Donna. I'm so sad. Oh, a printing press. The poor fella. Oh. <laughs> Somehow I'm subbed five months, though. Top left. This. Yes. Right. So, uh... <laughs> Hashtag rebel. Since you're publishing something there, you get a uh, point. Point. All right. Uh, green player is gonna test something on a student. People are still testing. <laughs> uh, yellow's testing too. So. Poisoning. Poison. <gasps> Red poison. Oh. Student. This one didn't even have a name. Nope. <laughs> Nameless student. Student oh, X. Those. Student X, yeah. Has been poisoned. Alright, and I'm gonna just drink the potion myself. Don't go running crazy in the streets. Or get yourself put in the hospital. Oh, but you can be paralyzed. Go ahead, paralyze yourself. Then I'll be first. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is true. You're not wrong. Not wrong. I know lots of things. That's right. <laughs> that could, like, really screw me if I did that. Maybe I should do this instead. <laughs> Sell all day. <laughs> I've had a strange strategy. It's been a strange road. All right, drink potion. I'm so par been a so far so subpar. So I've been subpar. Oh well, yeah, that five hit will hit you, and that was your choice. You knew what was there, didn't you? I was not sure on that one when I put it out. Oh my! That was the I put a ribbon because I wasn't sure what to do. You could make me lose one reputation, please. But. You could just let someone else lose the reputation. Let someone else do that for you. Oh, but you wanted that spot. Yep. And that cost you five to do it. That might be all like it. And if you put a five there, because you were sure, it's a wash. Yep. Ouch. Oh dear, dear, dear. Not good. And now not you don't good. even have the two. Oh, neither do I. You don't. Oh, I had the two, but I got debunked on one. <laughs> You're debunked. Yes, I am uh, out streaking in the streets. Ah! I drank a kind of potion that makes you insane. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> insane. Got no brain. Out streaking. First he drink, then he streak. Your cube. All right, so now we're going to be checked here to see if you have the correct number of things. Oh, I do, no. so I get one reputation. One um, things is red, like green, other. and blue all do not, so they all lose one reputation. We're all playing for second. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Um, that's positive stereotyping. <laughs> okay, next, the person who has the most things out gets one point. Look at that little bottle go. Nothing happens here. Nothing happens here. This thing is gone. This thing's gone too. This is the new person who comes out. Is this the final round? Mm -hmm. No more testing? No, nope, no more testing. <gasps> so what's in game? The new like? things come out. These, this goes away. Things that no one cares about. Except for me. I went over all of the end game scoring. You need me to go over it again? That was like three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> so many hours ago. It's all the things that's in your book here. So, oh. on the very right hand side, the reputation's gonna turn directly into points. All of your, um, whatever those things are called Grant. Yeah, grants. Grant. Your um, artifacts. Mm -hmm. Your favors are worth $2 each. And every three dollars is worth one point. 
Favorite cards? Yes, favorite cards that you did not use. Oh, wow. Oh, they were two dollars each. Okay, and then the yeah, dollars. Two point. dollars, yeah, and then cool. they're worth two thirds of a point. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I read the rule book this morning, Blood Boiler. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to also score for having correct um, stuff out there, and you're going to f- lose points for having wrong stuff out there. Is that a specific code for something? I don't know what that is. There you go. First player. I was like, he's probably just playing this code. Oh, God. Person I have a family member who just requested me. Minus eight points at oh, the end of the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> Yellow players get minus points. That would be a points. significant, like, guess. It's like, oh, we got it right. Oh, that's not quite it, uh, Vidra. But, yes, that's a funny joke. We're just not a little slow on the uptake. Our brains are currently melted. Uh, um, I've had too much poison. Too many poison potions. Mm. And insane membrane po- potions. I should have worn my shirt that said I get five points at the end of this game. This was my sale. Yes. It's still up here. I need you to get rid of one of my cards. So this is the last round. Final round. If you're just joining in with us, this is Alchemist's by Matus Katri and Czech Games Edition. We play every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Not this game. And every <laughs> Saturday at 3 p.m. We play all different kinds of board games. We play Alchemist 24-7. <laughs> no, we definitely don't. We haven't Our played this in ages. Our brains would burn. Three years, yes. according to the calendar. Three years. So this time, you can put your cubes here. Uh-huh. If you want to part be part of the exhibition, for the public, because even though we're academics, sometimes we do things for the public. Uh, if you want to do that, of course it's going to happen in order again. Um, if you're the first person to create a certain kind of potion, you're going to get a reputation for that. Mm-hmm. If you're not, you get nothing. But if you create both of them, any number of people will get to reputation for doing that. If you claim you're going to create something and you create the wrong thing, then you... Um, Matush Kotri. <laughs> Matush Kotri. Thanks. Matush oh. Kotri. Matush Kotri. You will lose reputation for everything you've made that was wrong from what you said you were going to make. So that's how that works. And then after that, we will do the in game scoring, which I just went over what all those things were. Mm. Any questions? You have to have the ingredients for each one of those. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, the problem you'll have this entire I have, game. <laughs> I have three whole ingredients. That's two ingredients here. And they're, they're, they're ingredients help. that I know nothing about. Yeah. <laughs> Same. So I'm like... This, this is not, not helpful. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not that. We will see. I'm going to go here. Dang it. It took my spot. Three ingredients out. It uh, took my spot. Well, there's always a two ingredients. That's where I'm going. Put me at the two ingredients. There you go. She has it? Oh, dang nubbit. Oh, my. Such a hot wash. What's the plan here? <laughs> it's, oh, wow, yeah. So that's just like an action space like any other. Okay. Yeah, by this point of the game, you should be ready to make all the ingredients, all the potions... Have all the ingredients already. Yeah, yeah I'm right. totally so that you can spend three of your four cubes. Oh, the exhibitions today. I study. That's today. 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 Oh Lord. Um, I thought you said it was Saturday. Oh, I'll take the one. <laughs> Saturday. Today's Saturday. Give me the one good. That one. Yep. All right, and then I'll go with the one favorite one good, but not this good. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, now. All this right. is something I know stuff about. Yeah. What do I get when I mix these together? I have a plan, oh author. Nothing. Oh, the thing that nobody wants. Well, that's handy. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I get to put my cubes out first. Yeah, Ooh, you're first. This is a bunch of hog and wash. I get to see what everyone else has done. The only one I know is plus and minus red. 
I have what I need to make a minus red. I have plus minus But I don't have what I need to make red. a plus red. And there's no way I'm going to get that. <laughs> things are looking up for red. Oh, so you have to put both things on both Can sides? Please? Only um, if you want to get extra reputation. I don't think I've heard ingredients for this kind of mess. I know plus minus. Do I know how to make something no one else knows how to make? Blue. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go straight for academia. <laughs> I'm just gonna forget that. <laughs> Wasn't Ron Sweeten supposed to show up for this contest? Oh. <laughs> nope, he didn't show up. <laughs> He's still doing academics. Yeah, the he's fool. Doomed. He's still studying for this. <laughs> he knows this today, right? Well, I know I'm putting one here and one here. Mm -hmm. For sure. I know what I want to do with that. Because I need to do that. Um, but these other two cubes, I mean, I could just risk it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have that kind of ingredient. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can mix this together. Oh, I don't have that. I literally know nothing about these ingredients. That's the problem. Why'd you take them? I didn't take them. <laughs> Hey, you showed up. I'm tempted to just debunk somebody else. <laughs> just debunk everybody. Just be, all debunking all the time. That would be your thing. People love you at the school. Why? I'm doing very badly. Oh, okay, that's fine. What? <laughs> you want only hope, Ronald. Yeah. My oh my. God, that's happened. This happens. This is it my turn? You are. Can I play this card immediately? This says play immediately. I guess I need to. You must play one that says immediately, immediately. Play it immediately. Okay. I get to draw all three sure, ingredients yeah. and then choose one of them. That sounds nice. Now, you, you can add it to your whole hand and then choose two to discard. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Uh. It's risky. What a risky game here. What's, what's Look happening? Look how far Ronald is. He's on 22. How do you think you're not going to win? Um, how many points do you have just in artifacts? Not that many. How many? There's six. We'll find you out. You started at 10. You're at 11, 11 right now. How many is he at? There's no 11. 11. So you'd have 22. How about that? Okay. How interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that the plan? I mean, is that right. a thing? Right. Joe, where do you want to go? All right. <laughs> what is next? One Saturday? on the ingredient. Huh? What is next Saturday? The second? Or was that it? Ingredient. Yes. Oh, that's my one on the uh, my students quiz bowl competitions next Saturday. Two on there. I think that's solo day, right? I mean, not solo. Duo Where's this day. one going? No, on that's publish. the third. I thought. But are you gonna be here? I'll be. I'll be here by oh, three. Okay. I mean, it's like eight in the morning. I, I won't. I won't be on Melissa sings. Oh. Oh, next Saturday we're playing T.O.T. Huwakan. Oh, we should probably learn that. I will. Okay. I'll take it with you. Yeah, I will. T.O.T. Huwakan. So this Monday we're playing Ethnos, this Wednesday we're playing Wingspan, and next Saturday we'll be back to play T.O.T. T.O.T. Huwakan. Yeah, that. City of Gods. All the latest hotness, folks. Right here on iHeart Board Games. All right. Uh, Melissa sings. Where would you like to go sing? It, well, that's what we keep hearing. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna have to learn it. <laughs> I wonder how long, how hard, how long, learn the, how bad the rule learned is. You played Zulkin, right? Yes, once. 
And Same I was designer. taught. I was taught by Chris. Right. <laughs> well, this time you get to do the teaching, learning. Yeah. Oh, you 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 got you got mad skills, yo. Said no one ever. No. <laughs> that's true. You're right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. No one ever said that. <laughs> no one calls it hot lava. <laughs> oh, I do with this crazy piece because. If I put it in the gold, I'll have two you gold, that's all I get to You can't, you would need two more cubes to go for gold. Yeah, so I can't put it there. And you I can't sell put it, something. I oh, can't you need two more. 3.7 and wait. Out of five. <laughs> Vigor, usually. Yes. Oftentimes. Yes. Let me see what I think of. I've thought a game or two. Yes. Jesse's like the other person that explains games. Which probably is. Around like, here. 15% of the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not often. But it's also because I volunteer. I mean, it's not like someone's like, Ronald, you have to learn. Last night, kind of. Yeah. 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 How was it, Joe? How did he do well? On oh! <laughs> 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 ah! No, he's all right. I lost, by the way. I was Long John Silver. I, f I find it's harder if you're mm. teaching to win. Because right. you have to, like, watch after everyone else yeah. and help them make the best decisions. So if you lose this game, that's your excuse. That's always my excuse. What are you talking about? Why do you think last night poor Joe came in last in TI4? Because he had to teach us. Hands mute. Um, I can make a lot more money if I just go to the sell the guy, but that costs two cubes. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I don't help people make good decisions. Okay. I just explain so well they destroy me. Nice. Well, last Saturday, I think it was, we played Castles of Burgundy. Which I've probably played that game like 50 times or something. I taught Joe and Jolly how to play, and they both tied for second, and I came in last. So I was proud that my students were able to carry the torch yep. yes. forward. And you did not yes, poison insane. them. And I came in last place, like a proper rules explainer is supposed to do. Okay, so here we are. I teach this boa I eat dirt. This boa. I don't think I've played that yet. I do want to play that. This boa. I want to as well. If anyone wants to send us a cut. Oh, no, wait. We have a friend who has that, don't we? Who Chris. Do we Does who, he? Yeah, Chris got this boa from Dice Tower last year. Oh, right, right, right. Out okay. The market. Green player, what will you select? And he's if you're going to Dice here Tower, you can play take with the um, a fern thing. All right. Thank you. It's a life affirming choice. <laughs> <laughs> Buff. Buff. 113, we heart you. Thanks for that follow. We January are here 13. playing board games for your enjoyment. Yay, we phalange dance today. <laughs> yeah. I will take first follow in three hours. Very good. I yeah. I gave a sub earlier. <laughs> it just never showed up. I don't know why. Very weird. I don't know. Alright, red, pla red players uh, transmuting something. Transmuting. Oh, Oh, red, pl red players transmuting. Yes, yes, yes. Here's a good. I'll take a coin from here. And I'm transmuting this and taking a coin from here. All right. I am going to buy for four dollars the crystal cabinet. Ooh! Here. What a fancy cabinet! Ah! Oh, there it is. Cha -cha. Oh, because you didn't share it. Da, 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 da. That's kind of like the celebration. Yeah, I didn't realize you have to like put a message in and press the button. In three months? Question mark. Uh, sometimes you can just hit share and it'll do it. You don't have to put a message. I was in. on the computer when I did it, so right. I'm not. The uh, app on the computer is really different from the one on the phone. Right, 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 right. All right, so I have purchased the mirror or the cabinet. Uh, crystal cabinet. What does that do? When scoring artifacts. This is worth two points for each artifact you own, including this one. What? We let him get away with that? <laughs> we didn't even try to stop him. We were just like... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I mean, I, mean, was, <laughs> we're just like, I mean, but seriously, you would have given your money for something that was worthless oh, to you. Oh, yeah. That's right. It would have been worth it two points been, to you because yeah. it itself is an artifact, right? I didn't right? have so, any yeah. money. Yeah. Would have been worth what? No, no points, points to anyone because no one had any. It counts as its own self. That artifact... Uh, it does it or does it not? 
Oh, yeah, never mind. It counts its own self. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We didn't even read them. We're like, we don't even care. Oh, <laughs> dear. Dear, dear, dear. Think dear, of it when dear. I said you win the game. And we were <laughs> <laughs> Look, Wait, this, that was down this one's worth one point for every five repetition points you have at the end of the final round. I should have gone for that. I don't have money. I have one buck. Okay, Blue is uh, going to debunk something. I would like to debunk that feather. Really? Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Courage. Courage. It's, you know it's bad when Melissa and I are the academics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually like in a like this kind of game. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'll just put this X. <laughs> All right, Melissa. What part of that do you find? Do you take? Do you take umbrage with? The red. You take umbrage with the red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. So oh, did I mark these things wrong? Feather. <laughs> red. Oh yeah, I marked them backwards. That's not good. Should, Should be, be a, a negative. Oh. I agree. Debunked. Well, then I marked a lot of things wrong. <gasps> so Melissa debunked someone, so that means she gets two points. Yay! Think, think. And the Which person better? who got debunked, let's see what his says. Well, well, he is. He put his oh, five star on it. there. <laughs> so this means you lose five points. Oh. Yeah, I can spare him. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're in the bad part now. Yes. You're in the, this This stuff's going to happen to you now, please. Yes, that's correct. Uh oh Now, Melissa, you have a blue cube here and publish as well. Would you like to immediately publish either Feather or this? Um... Watching League of Legends season start with my sons now, too. Oh, I'm, not even, oh. I'm not even sure that's English. What does that even mean? <laughs> League of Legends. It's a game. Well then, yeah. I oh, marked, next versus minions. I marked that off. Yeah. Wrong at the beginning. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I do not want to publish the feather. Do you want to? Oh, I mean, you don't have oh, to wait. immediate immediate publish. Oh, wait, let me see. I do this one. That stinks. <laughs> Oh, I think I know which one it is. Or maybe not. Well, you don't have to immediately publish if you don't want. I just noticed you have a blue cube here. See, the one that I wanted to do is not... It's not one of those things. Um... So I don't want to publish that one. For sure. Okay. Did you want to publish something about Feather? Let's see. I don't know enough. Nope. I'm not. I'm no. No. Keep in mind, no okay. I can debunk you. So. Uh, no, but I only have one coin. My turn. What do you need the coin for? Because I have something here to publish. But wouldn't that go away? Yes. All it does is let you publish faster. Yeah. It just moves this cube to the front of the yeah. line, to right now. That's all it does. You're just doing it now instead of later. But, but only if you publish either Feather but or I the one you debunk. Oh, I didn't want to okay, publish gotcha, those gotcha, gotcha. two things. Yeah. Okay, so I have to debunk. The one I wanted to debunk, somebody else already debunked. <laughs> well, at least there's that. Well, that mushroom is wrong. Who's green? <laughs> That's Joe. You saying Joe's wrong? I guess I'll debunk the mushroom then. No. See, that's what I thought you were going to do like two two rounds ago. When, I was going, like, <laughs> when he was saying it. Yeah, I was like, I thought you... <laughs> Maybe you should skip breakfast. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Probably you should've. had a hearty breakfast today. I should have skipped the breakfast. I, I went last. I wanted cards. <laughs> oh, sweepy! Sweepy! <laughs> Thanks for back, that sweepy. subscription. We heart you. Welcome back. How you been, sweepy? It's been a while. The problem is I don't know what's wrong with it. I know it's wrong, but I don't know what. But it really doesn't matter now because nothing can be debunked, right? Yeah, I can debunk that. 
Oh, right. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm on debunk right now. I thought now. you were publishing. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, but to publishers, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess it does. If you wanted to publish the correct one about points, the mushroom. If you want the points, yeah. No. Oh, well, that's points. a toughie. I don't know. In and out of the hospital. Ooh. Oh, no. There's oh. so many lives, but caused some vids. Cool. Awesome. Well, we're glad you're out and doing good now. Yes. Sorry that you had to endure the hospital. No, that cannot mm -hmm. be fun and in, under any some circumstances. But now you're out. So that's good. You've escaped. <laughs> uh, debunk yes, a theory. Yes, we hope all is better now. What's wrong with it? I don't know. What happens if you get it wrong? Um, I... something. I lose a, I lose a reputation. Oh. So there is something on the line. Yeah, you can't just be going around debunking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just all willy nilly. I don't know about the other one. The other one could be right. I'm not sure. Have we? F <laughs> There's only two that that have not been debunked. I marked the wrong things on feather, so that threw off everything on the sheet. <laughs> so we'll just. See um. All right, mushroom. Mushrooms. Well, the problem is if you come to a point where you've done something wrong, you have no idea why you've done. Yep, that. yep. Right. That it's is the problem. Work, it's hard to work back to where you, why you made that. Unless you write down every single thing that's happened. And yeah, that's just no. I mean, there's the back. That I happened guess. to me, like a few times when y'all like, oh, it's a positive, you know, red positive is only this for this one. I was like, well, I already have that, and then the other time y'all like, yeah, red negative, and I was like, oh, I've already like marked out red positive. Oh no. This game is from 2012, 13, something. I think the blue is wrong. Sounds so confident. Says it on your phone. It's, it's a, I mean, last time we played it was 2016, and it was relatively new then. This is from 14. Oh, 14, okay. Okay, I think blue is wrong. Let's see. I think blue is wrong too, but. Blue should be positive. Oh. It is positive. It is positive. So I'm wrong. <gasps> wow. That's what I was thinking. So maybe. It, it so I lose one point for that. But you still debunk it, right? I don't. No, it's it. not debunked. I have not proven it wrong. Oh. Because it definitely is positive. All we know is that the blue is for sure positive. I don't mean to be petty, but you know that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that's to debunk something to else. I should have gotten up earlier in the day. Except expansion <laughs> in 2016. Uh, okay, so Red is publishing a theory. Oh, expansion. Um, yes, I am. I have a theory that... Um, hmm. Everything has changed. Let's see. Um, what's out? There's that. Oh. Let's try that. That's confident. Bottom right, toad. Oh, hell. <laughs> it's successful if I stop someone else. <gasps> I stop someone else from getting their theory. That's a win for me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think that's actually how it works. Um, so you get a point and you have to pay a dollar. I don't have to pay a dollar. I print my own papers. But what about this thing? <laughs> Like, what about it? What, what happens with those? What was that again? For being down here? That's what, what, what have to do with uh, the trader guy. If he was to lose some points, he would lose Only. one less. Yeah. Because they expect me to fail. But now that's not in... Uh. I think you're right, Blood Boiler. <laughs> uh, Melissa, would you like to still publish something? Or did someone mess up <gasps> your entire plan? Lord. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. He, pr he prints his own journal. He, yeah. he peer reviews his own journal. Ridiculous. I present the onion. <laughs> I wrote this. I checked it over. Yeah. It seems all right. Yes. If only I could remember what was on the feather before. Do you remember where you put the feather thing that was on there before? No. It's one of those positive ones. So it says negative. There's also nothing to stop you from publishing a theory that someone else previously debunked. 
like republishing the same theory someone else already said was wrong. You can do that in this game. Oh, I guess I could have endorsed that. Didn't even think of that. Melissa, you can endorse someone else's theory if you don't want to publish your own. He didn't remind me of that. Yeah, but what do you get when you endorse? Do you get the full, like, whatever's on your ribbon? Yeah, you get whatever's on your ribbon. But you have to pay a dollar to the producers and a dollar to whoever's already there. Oh, that I don't I have enough money. <laughs> I can't afford it. Because I don't have fancy printing presses. I don't have the gold to pay to somebody. Unless it's the last round. This is the last round. <laughs> this is it. That's right. You know, I think now that we've played, <laughs> like going to I think company. now that we've played so many other games, this doesn't feel as heavy as I remember it being. This one here. I don't know. It's just a game where you buy artifacts, right? <laughs> gotta be that one. Does it now? So you're gonna pay a dollar? You did that already? Pay a dollar. Get one reputation? No one could prove it wrong at this point. Someone will at the end of the game All if right. it's wrong. I'm gonna agree with... At the end of the game. The root. All that gets revealed at the end of the game. There's a goal to, to the publisher. Oh, well I mean, and there's a goal to Ronald. somebody. Thank you. Wait, you would lose five points for that? For being wrong? You lose four points at the end of the game for being wrong. Just oh, like it geez. says right here on your mat that I literally showed you three times now. Oh. Three times. <laughs> I totally missed that. I totally wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I could be going for points or I might be going for like zero points. Hmm? Well, everything that I wanted to do got Probably. completely ruined by people <laughs> who just don't listen when people explain rules to them. Yep. So now everything... I was gonna do is messed up all because I slept in. <laughs> well, I didn't actually sleep in. I went into the woods and foraged for ingredients first, right? Thematically. So I'm gonna take my cube off of here. Stay off this. And I'm gonna pay one dollar to Melissa. Yay! And one dollar to the bank because I'm gonna endorse what she did on feather. I can get second place. I'll be happy. I think you're gonna get first place. What? After this game? Uh, After this display? No way. Your this ribbon's literally what? only in one place Third out there. The point. most you can lose is four points. As long as... <coughs> oh, right. It depends how And if you hedged your bet, does. then you don't lose anything if you hedged correctly. I did not hedge correctly. As long as I get a, can get a like an entry-level job at the ministry, I'll be all right. <laughs> I've only like examined like four things this entire game, so... I know for certain what three of the ingredients are. This is I an experiment too. to see if the artifact strategy wins. Great. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the public display. So, Jesse, what kind of potion are you going to be making for the public display? I will demonstrate one of the things I learned. And in your app, you're going to change at the top where it says rounds one to five. You're going to change to say final round. And the heck is it? Your phone? No, my stuff. So once you get to final you round, away? you're going to choose Exhibit Potion. I don't think I did. Something's missing. Yeah, when we first played this game, we thought this was like the heaviest game we ever played. <laughs> but of course, I played a lot more. Uh, Sweet Pea, you can... Put, you can technically play this without the app, but in order to do that, you need a person who's not playing the game to just sit on the side and give you the answers to the questions about your ingredients. Well then, I don't seem to have the card I needed. Maybe I accidentally threw it, maybe I threw it away in the transmute. I don't know what happened to it. So, <laughs> we are gonna wing it. So the app just, <laughs> I would uh -oh. recommend it with it. Don't really have a choice, do I? <laughs> you could just take your cube off. Oh, I'm but gonna have it to does do that nothing. because that was that silly. Oh, so yeah, he's was, taking his cube away. Yeah, we want to see what happens. Do it, do it. <laughs> All right, blue lady. I mean, really? What kind are you making? Why would you go first? We were like, I think I really, I think I accidentally threw it away. 
Whoops. Which one are you making? That is um, weird. Plus green. Plus green. Oh, wait. So. No, no, no. Not that. <laughs> no. Oh, we're playing with just the base game. <laughs> um. Yeah. We usually just play base game on this channel if we can, unless we're specifically trying to show something off about an expansion. Or we think the game is not as good without the expansion. A minus blue. You're going for a minus blue. I'm pretty sure. Right. So you've, pretty sure. you've loaded up this screen on your app. Yes. You've gone to final round. Mm -hmm. You've gone to exhibit a potion. Yep. Minus blue. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to scan your cards. Ta -da! You're show us. She did make the minus blue. So she gets one reputation. Up to 13. I've done well. All right, green man. I'm doing plus red. Plus red. Oh, what happened to my stiff? I got it. He got it right, so he gets plus one reputation. Up to 12. Hmm. Um, let's see here. Can I make a minus red? What happened to your stuff? Mm. Oh, here we go. What I'll do this one. Me? I'll do plus green. You can't show off for the peoples. What? You can't show off for the people. That is correct. Oh. I just yeah. I just made too many mistakes this last round. I think so. One more point for me, and then green man. I'm doing right. minus green. You can't do minus red. Because mm -hmm. you would get. Three more reputation if you did minus red. Oh, sweet people would like to know oh, no. how the show went. I didn't. No. Um, okay, so you're going for minus green? Yeah, that's all I got. All right. Because last time they were around, oh, it went wow. really you well. Doing the show. That was uh, great. Got yeah, job. it went great. One more point for green. That ties him up with blue for 13 points. And that's the end of the exhibition. Yeah, Little Shop of Horrors went really well, Sweet Pea. We had um, we had a good show. We had um, great crowds and everything. People seemed to like it a lot. So, thank you for asking. Now we're gonna proceed on. Oh, we're just at the end. To um, <laughs> the end of the round. Mm. So. I'm all out. <laughs> Watch Ronald Reed. Watch Ronald Reed. <laughs> Frizzle our hearts next to our alchemist board. We are pretty. We're getting all ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ronald Reed. Ronald Reed. Ronald Reed on Twitch channel. <laughs> Hey, now, I have, I have, I have watched, okay. I've watched We do somebody do the final the Alchemist. On Twitch. It was actually interesting. Uh, this award does go out one more time. So I have three, Joe has two, Melissa has two, and Jesse has one. So I'm getting one more point for that. It's like listening to an audiobook, but live. This would get cashed in for favor cards, but you only have one cube here, so nothing happens. Story of my life. Okay, and then we're going to proceed to in-game score in-game scoring. So first, our reputation gets converted directly, <laughs> God bless you, directly into points. Jeez. From this point forward, you don't have to worry about these you, symbols Susan. that are on here. Okay. They're not relevant anymore. Because <laughs> now they're points and not reputations. Sorry, I sneeze very loudly. So the first thing we're gonna score are these books. What are they called? Grant. Grant. The... Two points for me. And I think I'm the only one that got a grant. Yep. Oops. Oh, it. This is going to be a mess. Oh, actually, I have <laughs> Feather. Oh. That won't do it. Dag it. That won't do. Um, See, I have two of them. They didn't match. Up. Yeah, he is. Artifact cards. He's running away with it. Well, give just one second. So, how many points are you scoring for the artifact cards? Good enough for second. Wait, what about maybe. the little thumb thing? Thumb the, thing? The, yes, the first thing. And now we're just counting points. Yeah, this is your reputation score. It converts directly into points. Oh. Okay. Four, five, plus six is 11, plus 12 is 23. 
23 points in Plus artifacts. 7 is 30. Yeah, 30? He, had that, he has that, like, yeah, count the 30. blah, 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 blah. So you're at 7. You're going to go to 37. No, 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 no. no 7 I'm plus 23 30. is 30. Yeah. 23 plus 7 is 30. Oh, he's saying, like, the the so, points he has yeah, right now plus 30. the... 30. Oh. But so only, that's uh, what just happened there. Yeah, did but you, I'm not going up anymore. I'm only stepping back from here. <laughs> but did you count all that? What was that card that said yeah, about counting it. the blah, blah, blah? No, well, you don't think I got enough points? I know. He's, I'm just, he just I, got 23 points. I, I know. I'm just... Yeah, he got 12 for that one. Yes, yeah, yes. I got 12 for that. All right, next. If you have two favor cards oh, left yeah. that you haven't spent, cash each two in. Oh, sorry. Cash each one favor card for two coins. I have no favor cards. So I have four. Four favor cards? Yeah. So you're getting six coins. Which means that's, oh wait, that's not right. Eight. Eight. Which I, don't still means... I think we should stop now and go back and review everything yeah. and run off and do it mathematically. <laughs> Which still means two yeah. points, because every three coins is two points or a point. Okay. Now, if you have a th sets of three coins, does anybody have sets of three? No, I only have one coin left. Keep your one. That's a tiebreaker. Joe has a few sets of three over here. <laughs> yeah. Four points. So four points. Four more points for green. One, two, three, so that's the 17. Oh. Okay, now you, technically you've sold all those coins back to the bank, so they're not yours anymore. You only have the leftovers. Did you have any leftover? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you don't have to worry about tiebreakers. Then. Next, we're gonna reveal these things. <laughs> things. Ah, things. The ribbons. The blue, yes. the yellow, the, ribbons. the green, the red. Which one should we do first, chat? Which ribbon Let's shall we reveal? The toad? And go around clockwise? Why the toad? Well, the scorpion doesn't have anything, so I was like, one o'clock. That's fine. All right, yeah, let's do Toad. It. So let's start See with how far I'm stepping back because I'm wrong. About All right, this. really show the answers. <laughs> Are you sure it is the end of the game? Yes, it is the end of the game. Okay, so Toad should be. A little minus red. Yes. A big minus blue. Yep. yep. And a little plus green. Correct. Woo! You got it right. Yep. That's why I got so angry because I knew it. Oh, that's the I one thought you I knew. knew. That's not what. That's no. not what I had for Toad. You want to flip that it over? That is the one I knew. That's why I got yes, so angry. Yes, please flip it over. It was like the only one I was you like. Oh, five sure. more points for Jesse. Things have changed. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was wrong about that. Dang. I was hoping you were wrong too. <laughs> That's what right. you were like. Feather. Wow. Feather should be a little red minus, yes. a little blue plus, and a big green plus. Yes. So I was correct. So blue is getting Yay! five points for blue. I was correct. Going from 13 to 18. Five points for yellow. Uh-oh. It might catch up to me. Next is the flower. The flower is the three fat minuses. That's all right. And you got a blue. Yep, I hedged on that. So I get. Oh, I don't think I get anything yeah, for that. Just nothing. I'm pretty sure. Unless you missed something because it was wrong at the end. I thought that was... If you're... I was thinking it was supposed to be... Those two were switched with the mushroom. For a while when I told you... I thought you were going to switch those. So it was the flower supposed yeah, to be? Yeah, if, if your seal doesn't have any stars on it, then you get no points. It's so nothing not happens there. The flower should be exactly what it says. I wasn't even sure on that one because that's why I hedged. Uh, All right, the root should the root, be. The root. The root is correct. Okay. Here. So five more points for yellow. Thirty-five. We have a tie situation. And, and five points for green. green. Going up to green. twenty-two. Yeah. All right, the fern is also correct. Yes. So that means five points for blue. I had two One, stars two, the whole time, as those two. The chicken foot was uh, was this one, if you're curious. I'm not curious. This one goes with the scorpion. I didn't have a single and the mushroom the scorpion the whole time. is correct. Yes. Yeah, I had a few things wrong because I had the toad wrong too. Well, I based that off the feather. Did you put down? You put down the feather Five over here, and so I was like that one. Points for green. 
27. Mm. And if anyone had been wrong, which nobody was because they all got debunked, you're welcome, they would have gotten uh, minus four more points for that. Well, rats, I did one point less than three years ago. I had a 23. Last time I did a 24. So the rule book wrong? states... We share victory. So. Well, money. Do you have any money? Do you have any gold? No. That's Neither pretty, do I. That's pretty crazy that you can just piggyback on somebody else's things and get five points for it as well. Yeah. Well, if you figure out the right. Because at first, no one's right. Yeah. Um, if no, the point, I was right. That's, that's so if you're tied for was... victory points, break ties using leftover gold pieces. If you're still tied, you remain tied. Well done. <gasps> Two winners! So, two for the price of one! The artifact strategy is just as good as trying to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> no better Well, worse. maybe if you had a competent player against artifact strategy, it wouldn't have been. It's just, I'm not competent. <laughs> At the same time, though, yeah, I made several mistakes throughout the game. Like, I threw away so many cubes this game. Just because I forgot well, things. Well, three of them, I knew for sure exactly what they were by final round, but I didn't have the right kind of components for the exp. Like, I knew exactly what they were for, like, three of them, but I didn't have the ingredients, so I couldn't do, but I, I could only do one, because that's all the ingredients I had. But yeah. I knew, like, for sure three stars by final round. 18 tiebreakers. But then by then, I didn't well, have any money, so I couldn't publish anything. At least I made I more it. points than I did last time. Yeah, me too. And I had not a single thing on Scorpion. Like this thing, I didn't get a single red card the whole game. I knew nothing about the Scorpion the whole time. You do know things about Scorpion because you know if something else is a yes, everything else is a no. Oh no, Let but nothing see. ever got put on the Scorpion for me to know. Like nobody ever did But what I'm saying is, it. because this is a yes, I put an X here. Because this is a uh, yes, I put an X here. Oh. See, because well, I didn't have anything written on here. Or but all the other ones. <laughs> Nope, we tied. And <laughs> all the other ones I had information on. And I had three I knew for sure. Some people don't like a tie. I think a tie's great. More people get to win. Yeah. I'd like it all four of us tied. I feel like I did better I this time than three years ago. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, sweet, Thank you, sweet pea. pea. So what did you guys think about this game? I feel like, I'm, like even though it's been multiple years and it's just like pulling out old like, memories from my head, I, I really did still understand it pretty well. I mean, it's still it's still only no. playing the base game. No. Um, but yeah, I just, I really, I really did remember a lot about it. There's a lot so of much. strategy to this and yes. turn order matters Oh, like that, that one turn where it's like I gave up getting anything just so I could go, go first because I was like, I knew if I put it right here, you're going to have to pay to go in front of me or it's more beneficial to get something to go behind me. It's like I wanted to be first. So it's if, like I'm giving up a lot of stuff to go first. If Joe had not endorsed me on this route and paid me a dollar, I would have come in second because I didn't have enough dollars to endorse Melissa. No. If Joe had not done that, mm -hmm. then I would. If Joe had not endorsed me on the last round for this yeah. and put right here and gave me a dollar, I wouldn't have had enough to endorse Melissa because I was planning to put, to put this out. Mm. But then she put it out in front of me. So if, if like, that's where turn order really comes in. And see, that's where like getting items on the turn order, there were so many times where I wish I could have gone to the three ingredients part so that I could get more ingredients. Because by the end, I wanted to do stuff here because I knew things, but I didn't have enough items to make the stuff. So... Having uh, ingredients was not, well, not having ingredients was a, a big problem for me. Thanks, artifacts. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a really good game. It's in I my really collection like it. and it has been for a long time. And even though we haven't played it in years, I've still kept it. Because usually if I don't play something within a year, I want to cull it out of my collection. But this one, I couldn't cull this. It's just, it's just so good. Um, and I really do want to play the advanced variant, but I think we would need a few more plays under our belt before we get to that point. Um, yeah, because it's just... I didn't like it at first, but by the end, I liked it a little bit better. Especially because I was just, like, thinking that everything I had chosen was wrong. <laughs> like, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Like, no, no, right. I made one right Hell choice. Hell in a handbasket. It was at the right time when I needed it. What? I, I reacted very uh, differently than I thought it would. As soon as you put that toad, I was like, oh, hell. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you, I, got, I, got I, really, like, I thought I was wrong based I on that. I got really upset because I'm like, I knew that one. That's what I was going to publish. How dare you? Because 
going to oh, have see, to really I, debate about the feather. I thought you were going to take that I was, little pick thing. I was, I was like 99... I was like 99.99% .99 positive about the feather based on what you, what I debunked from you, but I couldn't remember exactly what I debunked, and I was too afraid to publish it at the time, and now I wish I would have just published it, because things might have been different. But yeah, yeah it was with like, this, gosh, with this artifact strategy really endorsing some of the way oh to my do gosh. it at the very end. Because you know people are going for points, so mm -hmm. just figuring out who's doing it right would have been... A good way to go. So if you see somebody buying all the artifacts, jump in there and buy some. <laughs> Stop I never, had, I never had money to buy artifacts. I barely had money to publish something. Well, that's because we weren't selling. You're, oh, a big part yeah, of this game is supposed to be selling. selling. We, I just never had the right materials to make what they wanted. I knew how to make it. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have what oh, yeah, was required to breaks. make it. Well, I had the two neutrals to start. <laughs> like, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that really messed me up. <laughs> Well, so yeah. you guys, um, you know we're back on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. This coming Monday, we'll be here playing Ethnos, oh, which Ethnos. is absolutely not a Euro game. Um, then on Wednesday, we'll be playing Wingspan, Ooh, one of the hotness so games. Good. And so Saturday, we'll be playing Teotihuacan. 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 Yes, and Teotihuacan. You thinking of uh, me City on of Saturday before we stream? Cause I will be, uh, I will do, I will be calling questions for a quiz bowl competition for my my junior high students. It should be interesting. It's like it's pretty much like trivia, and they get like ten seconds to answer trivia questions. It's for junior high kids. They get really competitive. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing Saturday morning before we we game. Yeah. Let's see. Where nothing gained, nothing, nothing lost. Yeah. So you guys know we love to spread the board game love. Um, we love to raid over or host over to another channel and help them out. So make sure you say hi when we get over there. Everything on. There's some people playing scythe. Awesome. Oops. Montreal, apparently, or something. Or have been there. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll go. Check them out. I don't know where the other three is. Correct. That didn't get bought unless somebody else has it. It's right here. Bum, 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 bum. Three, three. It only took three and a half hours. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Plus the teach. Two. Plus the teach. Yeah. No. Wait, yeah, you taught this game? <laughs> I did. That's why I didn't <laughs> come in first. Right. Well, yeah, you did. You tied. You came in first and second. You did good. Such, such a doting teacher. He lets his <laughs> students tie him. But he didn't mm. poison us, so that's good. All right, we're going to try to race today, see if that works. <gasps> right. Alright, so Night we'll major, see everyone sweet next peas, time exacto. Um, on Monday. I don't see any other names, but I said bye to who I saw. <laughs> bye, bye guys. Bye everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Nice lovers. <laughs> <laughs>